Ready to. Goes back in. And the side switch. Yeah, he didn't have the full combo ready. You see the land of the hit. Didn't get the confirm. No, 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 no. No, that's press a button. Dodge. Oh! oh let's go! <laughs>
Yeah, I think could, I can't think of any crazy lands. I would say Score is probably just the best lands in Japan. He's been entering every single online tournament. He's running the first to 50s. He's grinding like a monster. I mean, wasn't he ranked number one on that play period for yeah. a short while? Yeah, but I mean, it's, Mochi was too. It, it, the turnover rate's pretty crazy. <laughs> All right, so they're, they're saying, are you going to send out Bubs first? The surprise pick? We got to make sure we get the names right, too. Last last week, we had a, a couple confusions here watching the Japanese stream. I can hear him today. That's nice. So looks like they're sending up Gosho. Is Tadizo running Percy? Did he actually drop? Did he drop? <laughs> Why? Oh my god, I don't understand this at all. I feel like a lot of people end up going back to their, their Catalina. Right? Goichi dropped Cat. Uh, Fenrich dropped Cat. Gosho dropping Cat, too. Or Tadezo dropping Cat. I don't Come on, man. Bamboban sticking with her winning tournaments. We'll see. Purse is hard, too. Purse is actually one of the more... Uh, you know, he might seem simple, like a DP fireball, but he's actually quite hard to play. He's one of the more technical characters in the game. So the players that switch at the patch, they're still not at the level where they're back to their old main. Fenn just talking about, like, this character's way harder than I thought. Like, I can't anti-air po properly. There's a lot to keep track of right now. Counter hit, regular hit, how many stocks do you have, how close you are. So we'll see. I, I don't know if the person's going to be ready today. All right, they're going to set up a battle versus Roy. Roy played last week too, right? Yeah. Roy did some damage, actually. Are you sure? I, th I thought I, I think I watched, but I remember he did some damage with no, the... No, it looked uh, like they sent Gosho up, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just looking at the names on the top, right? All right. Yeah, Gosho versus Taco. All right, I don't know why they wrote that, but Gosho Taco. Oh, it's it's been there. It's, they probably just haven't updated yet. So yeah, Gosho versus Taco. They're going to send the bubs up. All right, I like this idea, actually. <laughs> it's it's pretty low risk, right? Just put put him out there. If he if he gets you a dub, cool. If not, you only lost the worst character on paper on your team. Right off the bat, Octopus Damn, Taco been grinding here. Octopus forcing through with that fireball, trying to corner Gosho's bubs. Taco ranked six on the master, I guess you know after last week because they knew this was coming. So I think all the players been grinding now. But yeah, the dives. This is what you have to watch out here is uh, Bob's going to try and keep Grant away, but you know, you just can't. Eventually, he's going to get in there. So he's going to be diving out, trying to teleport here. But we got to wonder how familiar Taco is. Oh, God. Yeah, that's the optimal stuff. Oh, that is the optimal stuff. A, A. This is what a top tier character looks like right there. Yeah, yeah, the Discord just laughing. <laughs> They're like, all right, yeah, yeah. All right, that's Grant. That's, that's classic Grant stuff. Yeah, so for Gosho, he has to be oh, concerned no. about how he thinks Taco is going to counter his zoning style, right? Yeah. Because like you said, Grand's going to get in, yeah. but it's how he's going to get in. Is it going to be EX Fireball? Is it going to be EX Boot? Is he going to try to commit the movement? Okay, nice bait right there. Yeah, okay. That was the first time he was able to bring out the black hole. You know, it's a little guessing game after that. Taco showing he's willing to DP. And nice blocking the overhead. So that's another thing that Bubs has is overhead's pretty good. You know, it's, he doesn't really get a combo off of it, but it's good speed, good range. So the damage can add up throughout the round. Command grab. They said this this is a Gosho special right there. You know, you run in, you try to bait the DP, and instead he hits you with the EX command grab or the wake up uh, super there. But still, Taka needs one hit. Yeah, the, the chat is saying it's even. They're like, it's even, it's even. The player's on. Oh, he almost had him. Yeah, yeah, he wanted the count eight right there to try and bait out the teleport. Gosho, you can tell, trying to just run away. Yeah, hold out for hope, get the fireball. Yeah, you see how desperate he is, too. It's like yeah. one fireball, one fireball. Whip, like, please get away from me. Just please leave me alone. Bubs is a very weird, like, he's a very weird character. Like, is he his owner? Is he a mix-up character? We don't know. The die's been doing work, though. Octopus is not doing a good job of dealing with that. Diving the grab. DP after overhead, and here we go. Gosho starting to get wet. Teleports into the corner. I don't know what's going on. Oh, he caught oh. me. I don't know what's going on. Octopus right there. He had a great opportunity. Goes to jumping back. And I hope this drop doesn't make him pay. Taco right now with advantage. EX boot. Other side. Oh, my God. The EX. The dive. Yeah. That was good, though. Goshi was able to get out of the corner right there. So take that as a win. Yeah, he got lucky. Taco could have finished him, though, if he could have reacted. Yeah. Doing the one. They're saying this is rough. This is rough. Got the boot plus from that range. Yeah, and there we go. Just stay in medium, and now he's going to just try and keep him out. As long as you get away from the corner, you're okay. you got to stay mid-screen right now, because if you're near the corner, you're dead in the hit. There we go. Jump D. 
<laughs> they're laughing. So that whole round, you feel like, even though Gosha won, I felt like he was being pressured the whole time. Yeah, it, it, it never felt comfortable. He it was never like, oh, God, get away. So Taco, what do you do? I, if I was Taco, I would just stay on. I would stay on. Yeah, I think you can. Run, I think you can run the set. All right. It looks like no Taco. You know, he said, "All right, I couldn't do it." He's backing off. So first blood going to KO team with Gosha. Ah, I don't like that, man. That, well, I mean, like that. Like I said, I I think GG is heavy underdog here. Uh, you, if you send one of your grand players up like that, they gotta have more confidence than that. I think. I get, maybe they just don't wanna lose one early. I don't know, but yeah, I, I would just I would just run it again. Cause like it's like who are you gonna pick to go up against? Like Bubs, you, you already have, that's the best character. Dude, in the if, game. if their bub, if their Bubs up. has you has you tip, like already kind of like considering resources like that and stuff, you have to be able to outplay the Bubs, man. Way. You see a struggle. This is why Bubs is, is considered a weak character, right? The whole match is just kind of running away, like fireball, fireball. He gets cornered like he's just trying to dive out. He's, he's desperately just trying to get away from Grand. But the pokes added up, right? Everything added up a little bit there. Taka got a little bit to him. He had a chance in that second round, though. Goshi teleporting himself into the corner, jumping back, but no anti-air. So who are they going to put up now? I don't know who Bubs... Like, Teresa, maybe? Pick I, Charlotte? I guess. I don't know. You want someone, who can, not, you want someone who can move and swarm, yeah. right? Teresa didn't look that good last week, though. <laughs> Daiji. Oh, they're sending their ferry now? I guess this is, yeah, I guess this is uh, the answer. You know, Bubs is not really a great zoning character, so just send in someone who zones better. If he tries to use his fireball, that's his main zoning tool, she can just EX whip right through yeah. that. And then, like, or even Stan M, Stan H. Check him out of it. Yeah. Alright, so this isn't Daiji. Like we mentioned before, like, Daiji didn't really get a chance to do work last week. He definitely, definitely, definitely is a strong player. He lost to, who was it, Koji, I think? I believe so, yeah. yeah. So he lost to like, one of the best and it players. Was, and it was the, super yeah, close. Yeah. It was a full set. So I can expect him to do some work here. But again, like we're saying, right, if he takes out uh, Gosha right now, let Oz is coming in. They're just going to send in Oz right away. All right, fairy bubs. I like this about this game too. There's no character select. No character select. No button check. You just do it all in the menu there. Just like, all right, I'm ready to go. So they're saying if he doesn't know how to anti-air, it'll be okay. Uh, we saw that earlier against or when Taco was up. So Goshi was getting away with a lot of dives. So dives are really good for bubs, but you have to be ready for it. And in this game, you have easy input DP. It's so like if you see the dive right there, you can just DP it. Yeah. Or just jump yeah. back. You got to yeah, do something. Swing. You can't block it. It's plus. Good air to air from Daiji early on. And like you said, like that first round against Taco in particular, he ate a, what, at least two or three EX dives in the first two rounds alone. Got kind of lucky there with the EX. But you see he's willing to bring the EX fireball now because he knows he can't use that as a zoning tool. So best to just throw it out. And now Daiji got yeah. the perfect fairy range. And you already see, man. Jump oh. M, jump H. Standing M, stand H. DP Ender in the corner. The Daji special. That's what he's doing before, too. And look at this shit. <laughs> so the range he's standing at right now, too. I mean, it's Fairy's ideal range, but not only that. It's the range where Bubs teleports. He can't choose where he wants to teleport. There's only one range. So she's always just standing right there. Like, if you teleport, I'm going to jab you. If you don't, I'm going to hit you with the medium. Yeah, that, that was... That was uh, pretty free. Daji looking comfortable there, but they have EX dive working out this time. And now he's in. Low touch overhead. That's the thing, though. It's like, who cares, right? Buzz is just he's such a weird character because it's like even when he gets in, he's not scary. He wants to stay out there in that mid-range, but, you know, he's losing the ferry out there. So what's his game plan in this matchup? Yeah, so he's getting in. He's getting hits. But, it, yeah, like you said, it's low return, yeah. right? It's like, all right, overhead hit, and now it's over. Oh, God. Good job out of there. Good again. And the rope up. Simple jump in. No, this is this is here. Oh, you're you're done. Getting oh, in the bait. No up. punish. Oh, Got the super. Yeah, he had he had the dive, but he did the wrong dive. He did the close one instead of the far one. But yeah, it's still activated. It's still activated. His character's busted. Nice. Good call there from Daiji too. He recognized he was had the very end of the Ganage in, but couldn't get the full ender there. So just cut it in the sweep. Fujin. No counter, so didn't get the combo after that. GG. Hey, yeah, oh, done. the carry oh. touch. Oh, she almost juggled him into yeah, it. Yeah, I thought that was going to work right there. 
Sweep. Yeah, he, look GG. at that. Yeah, yeah that, that, he's dead. He's dead. That is so cheap. We saw that last week too, right? Just spammed. Uh, Beppo, 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 Beppo. The horizontal hitbox in that move is actually much fatter than it looks, so it covers the ground and the air. So you just got to sit there and hold GG. Daji special. Man, his character. <laughs> yeah, so go here quick. He wouldn't. He didn't even think about Just rematching. Yeah. He's like, I'm out. So I would assume that they put up one of the lances here. Yeah, right. <laughs> or do you save them for? Like, do you plan for Mochi instead? All right, they have two. I would send up. They're both. Just send one up. Send yeah, Oz, send I don't know. Oz, <laughs> Oz and Score are both godlike, but I think Score might be the better. Consider the better. He's got more results and things like that. So maybe just put in Oz right now. She needs a DP. She needs a sweep. She's 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 insane. Players are players are. I think finally, more and more people are like, wait wait a minute. She's still strong, but that first week, that first uh, reaction, like Ferry dropped down like four tiers. Like get out of here, get out of here. Who are they sending in? They're trying to send the ID. What's the ID? What's the code to get into this room? <laughs> Is that the lost soul in the chat? Marlon Pai playing Fairy. She's one of the characters that definitely has, like, the ceiling for her. Even with the nerfs, like, her ceiling is still there. <laughs> no one's playing this character perfect yet because, you know, she's very, very difficult compared to a character like Grant. Yeah, yeah, they're sending an Oz. So they're sending an Oz. Yeah, so we said it before. This is an unavoidable matchup with this, especially with this format. They were going to have to deal with it either way, but can Daiji at least kind of set the tone here? Is he just going to get a run over? Like you, you, I mean, you, you said at this level, you, oh, you felt like up until this level, right, a lot of Lance players are just relying on teleport defensively, yeah. not really trying to block or anything like that. But I feel like these players, man, they're not going to be like that. Uh, you have to assume they they put in the grind enough to where, you know, they're not just mashing that. If, if you got teleport, you're mashing that. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It didn't get nerfed at all, too. It's the best part. <laughs> so here we go. Oz versus Daiji. Yeah, you can see the amount of games these guys have. This is just in a player match. This is not in rank. This is not in lobby. Oz with 1,500 player match games only. My dude must be at like 10K. Still even here. Yeah. Right off the bat, Oz showing four movement, trying to zone with Fireball. Daiji with the. Swing, trying to apply these air buttons. Mm -hmm. And he's in. And here we go. Yep, now the game starts. Yep. Cornered. Yeah, that was, that was nice. He did the, the delay jump in to try and blow up the the grab OS. He got it, just didn't get the combo. And now Lance. Yeah, look. He wants that DP. Daiji didn't give it to him. He mashed out instead. And that's what it's got to be from Daiji. Like, he has to have a good match. It has to be good. When he does do it, when he does dial it up, he's got to be right. Or when you can finally find that one moment, just be able to just rope on out of there, jump out the corner. There you go, Obama. The first time Oz blocked an attack, EX Teleport came out right away. Yep. This character is still... Both of these characters are still ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, and so this is... You're seeing, right? This is Fairy's worst matchup. Lance is fine, too. So the thing about him is he's not just a rushdown character. Like, his mobility is so good that when he wants to run away, like, he had the life lead, he just backed off. And again, Obama, what, what did I say? He blocked an attack and immediately just smashed teleport. It's so good. And look, the teleport's already back. So the next time he blocks an attack, same thing. He doesn't just have to sit there and hold Fairy's, uh, like, GG setups unless it's off the hard knockdown. Sliding under that. Yep, that's another counter to Daiji's playstyle. Yep, count eight. Confirm, oh. Daiji. They're yeah. thinking who they're going to send up next. See him trying to mash out. Puts out the EXDP. It just feels like it's too little too late at yeah. this point. Cornered still. Okay, pinwheel going to work out here. Get back to midscreen. EX teleport. And here comes Oz off the EX Wreckers. Yeah, you get a lot of chip off that too. He, wreck, like, he smells blood right now. Just trying to close it out. Okay, that's good. Somehow he's on the ground. Just going to cash this out. Didn't have a better yeah, combo. Start. SSBA. Oz, though, of course, has his super. He's going to have his uh, safe 
escape tool if he wants it, or he's got his teleport. Jump out, oh. caught him. GG. Oh. Let's go! Daiji! <laughs> the hell kind of combo was that? That was off the B Beppo? The B Beppo and the 5B? That's Without what, GG? Yeah, that's what I've never yeah. seen that before. I thought, yeah, I thought the GG was going to juggle, but it, it expired it just GG, before. Yeah. That was sick. Sliding under, got behind. Oh, course, jumped into the corner. Worst possible worst possible thing that you could do. Oh, counter hit dive kick out. EX teleport, now Oz. Get back to center screen, but even on health, but Oz slowly pushing towards the corner. Gets the throw off. Yeah, he wants that DP. And again, not giving it to him. Daji now, that's twice. Oz has tried to bait the DP, just mash it out instead. Tried to slide, got interrupted by the 2D. Counter sweep. Oh, it's going to hurt. Now, what does he want? He just wants regular EX ice. Ah, the classic. Yeah, one Rekka. Jump, a little laggy. Hold on. Daji got super. Ah, yeah. It's, it's scary right there. That was it. So, like I was saying right before, that that's Ferry's worst matchup. And still, Oz almost got washed. The character's so strong. Both these characters are so strong. Now, Daji going to dip out, right? Yeah. Oh, he's thinking about it? No, he's dipping out. They have to protect their fairies for the other characters. But the thing is, who are you going to send up against Lance? It's not like this character's got really bad matchups. You might think he's like, you know, oh, he's a rushdown character. So, you know, he's got bad matchups. Like, he's uh, he's very, very well-rounded. Are they sending a bow? No, Chudara. Chudara, so they're going to lever leverage Cat up against Oz. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, that, that's, that's not a bad decision, I think. No, no, it's good. It's not like, this is not like a, oh, this is a counter to Lance, but she does very well against him. The thing is, she does, he does well against her, too. And these are both characters that got nerfed. Yeah, it's less about counterplay, more just about, like, let's just put up a good player who plays another good character who can also, you know, just blow him Solid, up. Solid, yeah, yeah. You know, it's going to go either way. It's going to be about the, oh, my God. All right. <laughs> just going to laugh it. Just ran in there with 5 8s. Let's go. Just trying yep, to outplay. Confirm. Yep, in the corner. Caught him jumping. The extra roll. That was nice. What a sick yeah. reaction from Churada. Dashing under the teleport like that. Still holding the corner. Yeah, so that was the big nerf right there. So her pressure was gone. She just did 5B, 2B in the yeah. ice, and it was done. So no more cat in your face. 5B, 5B. She does have a DP. We'll try getting cute there. Messed up the uh, the wall jump combo. Nice. Yeah, 5B confirm. Bro, I'm going back to this character. I'm done. I'm done with Percy. Chirada looking very, very clean this first round. I'm, I'm, imp I'm impressed just by man. The reaction to dash under the teleport like that, but then also he, he baited his anti-air at the end of the, the end of that. Perfect space to be able to whip on it. Yeah, that dive would work right now. That's three dives in one round, or three slides in one round. Confirm, crouch, confirm. Match it, sweep, look like Ferry out. He's just, and again, dash under. He's consistent with it. Oz yeah. cannot do, he cannot keep doing that. So it's not going to kill. It's heavily scaled. And Lance is low damage anyway on most hits. So Chana still has the chance. Doesn't have the wall though, so he can't kill in one hit here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was what, five slides in one round? Yeah, I mean, uh, slides mad good. It'll beat her 5B, one of her best pokes. It'll beat her fireball. It's unsafe, of course, but he had the EX ice out there to cover it. Bad. Chihuahua's going in. You see how different cat pressure is from patch to patch yeah, now? Got it. Just crouch L, stand L, throw mix up. See? Yeah, just dash up, just stagger L pressure. Perfect textbook example. Yeah, wow, perfect anti air. Yeah, you're done, though. Perfect. That was sick. Chudata is nasty. This this was a good decision. Oz, if you're Oz, you dip right I now. Dip, yeah, you dip, yeah, you dip. Yeah. You got to protect your lances. Yeah. Definitely. And not even that. That, that matchup was – Chudata was in his head, I think. Just like, all right, I did my work. I, I took one life. Let me cool off here. But again, my cat is another – Ferry, as strong as she is, she does have, you know, some skewed matchups, cats all around. There's no one you can really pick. There's no, like, oh, this guy is going to beat cat. You just got to pick someone who's comfortable in the matchup. It makes sense, or man. Or maybe go for the mirror. Who knows? These uh, these these damn Kai players, bro. They out here. Yeah, I mean, I hope people are starting to, you know, think for themselves now.
Cat is still a monster. Fairy is still a monster. Lance is still a monster. Grand Percy, it's only these two. No. If you're not picking these two, you ain't gonna win. They're not sending. La they wouldn't send Laggy up yet. They. Who else do they have on this? On well, who would you send up against a cat like this? To I try to play know. matchup. I like character. Yeah, a character matchup. I wouldn't. I can't think of anybody at this point. Like I think with a, especially with character and player like Chidala. Yeah. Like you just gotta outplay him, right? Yeah, you just exactly. gotta put some, just, somebody good up. Who do you feel like? Who do you feel like going after? <coughs> send in Pamu. Pamu son. And after what? Four games? It's all tied up still. Yeah, this is like completely different from last week. The life system. You can protect it like, oh man, oh okay. We're gonna lose a fairy now. Get him out, tag him out, tag him out, take him out. Save him for later. But yeah, no one's no one's going on a streak yet. You know, it's one win and then lose. One win then lose. One win then lose. Someone's gotta, you know, start running. So Pamu Narmaya. Wow. All right. Master. Man, these guys are grinding. These guys are making me feel inadequate. 3,000, and that's just wins, right? So if it's 3,000 wins, you got to assume 50, so that's like 6,000 games just in player match. Then you add in, they're, they're definitely over 10K. Oh, come on, man. They don't, look, bro, you don't, don't, don't be so down on yourself. I know you're motivated. I know you got that fire, June. They grind. Nobody, nobody grinds Raid Shadow Legends nearly as much as you do, dude. I'm not quit that game. <laughs> what do you mean you quit? Oh, no, come on, man. Don't be like that. Not till next game, man. Let's go to the Anyway, right there. Right, right off the bat, we saw a little knowledge check. So that Narmaya cross-up should never hit on paper, right? Players, you should be holding guard against her. But you're not used to it. So even, like, master rank players fall for it. The thing is, if it hits, you know, she gets a combo. If it doesn't, she's out of the corner. So it's win-win for her. DP baited, you're dead. Oh, no. Just away from the corner. But Churala with the twist of fate here. The stand L pressure confirming yeah. the super. Oh, man. We need more warriors out here, bro. That, that is uh, very, very high-level cat stuff. <laughs> it's like set play. So after the late grab, you just run in and do that. It'll bait TPs. <laughs> it'll combo on hit. You don't have to confirm anything. But you have to be very, very fast to recognize that your uh, your grab was late tech. Oh, he's just hanging on a max range stand M, max range 2M. Catching palm pressing buttons. Okay, and again, gets caught up by this. Maybe he's not familiar against uh, Narmaya. He dropped the corner combo, though. <laughs> yeah, that's two drops down from Pamu. Players are laughing at him right now. Oh, very, very dangerous. Shout out another DP. He's been DPing like crazy in the last two sets. Close smash, though, from Palm. Empty low this time. Yeah, empty low, and it was a counter hit. So I'm not sure what Chidato was doing. Maybe trying to take the grab or something, but... Didn't want to block and cost him the round. One to one. Even with a little bit, you know, some drops, some nerves from Palm, still able to take the round, tie it up. Nice Chirada with good patience there. Minus, tried to bait out DP, didn't come out in that time, Chirada does it. I think he's 100% on his DPs. <laughs> Pedro, B, that's a punish, yeah. That's a punish, though, right? He's feeling himself a little bit too hard. Oh my god, big drop from Chirada. And that's, right, a, that's a punish. Yeah. Push to the wall. That was a clear mistake. Went for the crouching light throw mix up. He's Palm any, any button, he's dead. <laughs> Quickly deal with oh, the. Oh, that's it. Dead. What a whip yeah. punish. Yeah, that's uh, the option select in this game is you'll take a grab and you'll get the dodge. So, you know, the basic mix up is either grab or universal overhead. Mm -hmm. The option select will cover both options. So, the way you beat the option select is you just do nothing and then you hit the 5 you delay, right? Yeah. We saw it last week with the shimmies. You just wait, and then 5H, like your max damage starter. You catch him recovering out of the dodge, and damn. All right, for the first time, Chirada's on a two-game streak. Pamu dipping out as well. Who are they going to send up to take out Chirada? Is he going to be the mochi this week? Uh, I mean, it, it wouldn't be that it, If Can Chirada, it, again, it, it, it just... For me, it comes down to can he stand up to those lances. I don't get comfortable if I'm GG until I get rid of those lance players. I feel like with the other with the other players, just on like character matchup wise, you can kind of play and you can kind of you know we maybe we cannot play them right if it comes down to just even even matchups or whatever. But they have to get rid of score. They have to get rid of us. I think. <laughs> <laughs> they said they're thinking now. 
<laughs> yeah, I think Score is probably the captain of the team. <laughs> for like the players, like, he's probably the one that yeah, they want to save. Yeah, oldest like, for sure. Yeah, the oldest player. Yeah. Maybe uh, um, and it's, it's debatable. Score, M dash, probably most accomplished, I would say. But for sure, you have to look at look to him for some leadership here. But if I'm GG, I'm not resting on my laurels until like you got to at least be able to take a life off of him. You know. With who? I wonder, because it's not it's not Cat. He's just playing well. <laughs> Landed like six DPS. No one had no one had a read on him. <laughs> Confirming everything, no drops, playing clean, playing aggressive too. <laughs> All right, here we go. They oh put, no, no, no! They putting butter up. They got a ferry. All right. Bata ferry, yeah, ferry cat is good. Fairy Cat is good, definitely. Rafaisi getting nerfed is pretty big. Man, he's, he's number three. I swear this ranking system is messed up. We just saw number three earlier, right? But, you know, whether he's actually number three or not, but has been grinding. The ranked. There's no Lance on Guilty Gear, right? There's Teresa. There's no Lance at all yeah, on Guilty Gear. There, there's, there's Teresa, there's Charlotta. You have the one Charlotta, yeah. but it's, again, it. we said it earlier. It's fairies versus Lances. Yeah. See, he's trying. So the thing is, both of these characters got nerfed. And again, there's that shimmy, right? Just blowing up and look. look. See? Oh, my God. Just take the throw. Oh, he messed up, though. What was that? What the hell? What was that? I have no idea what kind of He got too hype, man. He got too hype. Right. GG into the ball super. Try to switch over? No. No, no, no. Just max damage. Yeah, she just does go a back ton. In. Max damage. Go back to center straight, center stage here. And again, just yeah. stand whip, M, whip, stand whip. H's, crouch H's, control that screen. A lot of chip damage. Churata down around here. Butter looking good. <laughs> yeah, this is rough. This is definitely a matchup that got worse. Even though both characters got nerfed, it definitely got worse for Cat because before, you know, she struggled a little bit in the neutral, but her offense, like when she finally got on top of Fairy, was just busted. But now when she gets in, you know, Fairy's got a lot easier time to get out. Yeah, this yeah. is this is controlled right now. Especially on that play mm -hmm. too, man. Like, yeah, this is rough. <laughs> yeah. Really struggling to try to break that wall. Bata, man. Complete yeah, nah, control here. Bro, come on. Doesn't get the wall bounce, though. Yeah, just match the button. No shimmy for you this time. Control. I didn't know they, I didn't know they had a Fairy that was that good. Just neutralizing, right? Just neutralizing the cat. So now it's Guilty Gear Hoodie. You got Teresa who plays Charlotta, which beats Fairy. But like I was saying, Teresa didn't look too uh, too hot last week. I don't know if he's still been grinding like these guys have. But maybe he was motivated. You know, we noticed a lot of players, uh, they've ranked up since last week. Maybe this brought them back into the, uh, the Grand Blue grind. I think Teresa would be a good pick. Yeah, that's that's... They're right. That is the counter pick on that team, right? They got some grands. They don't want to do fairy mirrors. Definitely not. You don't want to. You don't want to put up Zoe, right? Yeah. No. No. You don't fairy mirror no Zoe. Grand. Grand beats her too. They could put Consume or they could put Teresa. It's interesting too because we can hear the Japanese players talking. and they're trying to think. They're like, yeah. They just said like, we got. Oh, Grand can go as well. We got a Grand can go. <laughs> Yeah, I would imagine you put Consume or Teresa in, right? Put up a Grand or put up a, put up your uh, yeah. Charlotta. And you got, you know, just it doesn't matter. Well, it obviously it matters, but it's first to one. It's not as, it's not as heavy as it was last week. So you could put up Teresa first, and then if he loses, all right, let's put up Consume. Let's try Consume after that. Yeah, because it's still even. Too. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All right, so they're sending Teresa here. Counter pick city. Do not believe Bobby's lies, guys. It's hard to get in. It's hard to get in. Good players anti-air Charlotte's jump every time. That's what I was told. Let's see. I don't think that's true. I don't believe that. I mean, it's, it's Bobby. Come on. <laughs> but yeah, like as we were saying, there's no... Like, even we saw Lance against Ferry, and even even that, like, Lance barely got away with the victory. So, matchups in this game are not... Because all the top tier are so strong. Matchups are not like, oh, it's a 9-1. You can't win that one. See, just taking a lot of damage here. Just trying to get in. 
Yeah, she's gonna take that chip damage. She's trying to get him, but the thing is, if she can corner Bata, get her knocked down, and then just get rolling. You know, you can go for Yomi air throw, er, earlier late DP, but Charlotte can swarm Fairy in the corner. Not sure why he's going for five H. Don't know what he's doing there. Uh oh, right, here's hard the start. To get it. Is this, a, this might be the beginning yep. of something. That's guaranteed. That overhead after that, you're always just gonna take that damage. Yeah, late tech. Look at the way supplying this pressure. Counter Tried to shimmy. Bata's even spin on point. Yeah, then a yeah, dive kick out. But EX ball, no recover, just go in. Nice five beams ready. That in was autopilot hot pursuit, stuff. Super through this. He's gonna get hit. He's gonna get yes. hit. You dodged too early. Didn't get the full damage, but. And there's the jump, and that was a punish. Did you see that? And he hits the link. Okay. That was a punish from like full screen. Charlotte jump. Basically like Magneto try jumping everywhere. And if you're about to, you have to feel bad about that with 100 meter too. He could have just, I mean, he had options. Mm -hmm. A little hiccup here, but we're back. Hands. It's minus. So he's doing A hands. It's minus. But Bata not trying to press the button after that. Goes for the low. Still plus after that. Good guard on Bata. EX ball. He's able to get out of the corner now. Now he's running. Running for dear life. Just full screen dash. It's so hard for Soto to get in. Chased her from corner to corner. Chased her down, yeah. Same situation. There, finally, I baited out the DP. Big mistake. <laughs> this harassment, you see, this is so. This is a difficult situation for Fairy to deal with. <laughs> this guy bound art. Demon flip goes yeah, high. That's going to die to chip. Just, yep. Yeah, it's all he could do right here. Dodge, punish, yeah. Chubb does so much chip, right? So he did EX Demon Flip and EX Hands. He had EX Ball after that, which that whole thing is like 9%. You said, like, yeah, that whole string. You, you, you yeah. can get, what, 10 to 15% on some strings, right? And just chip. Just chip, chip, chip. And, you don't just, and, it, and that builds up. Mm. But yeah, so Butter taking out Cat, and then they're setting in Teresa. So now, to the thing about Charlotte, though, she does have bad matchups. So, you know, you could send in one of your cats. Just... A bow, put a bow in there, put in a cat, you got a grand, you got Percy, those are all characters that beat her on paper. <laughs> but again, you see how strong it is, how strong his character is. <laughs> Did they say Ghost? Are they gonna send in Bubs? No. <laughs> So score is saying he fought Teresa before. He's like, I fought Teresa in a tournament before and I beat him. Are they gonna send in score? You're gonna put up a lance? That's a risk. I wouldn't do that. Save your lance for fairy. Just put in put in a cat. Just put in a cat. I think school. I think school just wants to play. Do you want to? Yeah, you want to make that confident. Uh, he just wants play? to play. It sounds like he's just excited. Yeah, yeah he just wants to get yeah, in. Let there. me let me get in there. Let me get in there. I got next. I got next. <laughs> and when score steps up, this was one of the players who I was looking at. Like, man, on paper, this is uh, not going to be fun to deal with. Oh, they might, looks like a battle might be going. <laughs> yeah, all right, they are, yeah. So matchup, matchup-wise, this is one of Shadow's worst matchups. Even with the nerfs, like, that's not why Cat beat Charlotta. It's just her pokes in mid-range. Her anti-air is really good at just kind of shutting down Charlotta's approach. <laughs> but again, this character just needs one good jump in or one EX ball, and then suddenly it's her game. Low Wolverine. Don't forget, guys. Hard to get in. Let's see how Therese is going to struggle. Can a bow anti-air every jump in? Can he block every ball? Reads on DPs and flash kicks, too. Therese didn't even DP at all last yeah, time. He, he, he was rushing down the whole time, right? <laughs> but yeah, Ferry's pressure is a little bit different right now, really up close. So let's see. Right, this is another about another one of the you know the leaders I would say of the KOF team. Yep, and she's in. 
Wow. Gets the air, airborne hit too. Yeah, and that's the confirm. And see, there's that overhead. You're going to see the players always just take that overhead. Flash mm. Gander. Just going for chip. It's plus. Didn't want to spend the ball there. Eh, you're dead. Jump Hard back. Delay. Get yeah. in. Oh my god. I hate Bob. <laughs> He's like, whoops, I forgot about EX Ball. I forgot the full screen, no recovery, safe. 5% chip move. No whiff, wall bounces. No whiff recovery either. That yeah, wall just... bounces. Forward roll, and there's the jump. No anti-air, you know, because she's got the fastest jump in the game. So you're looking on the ground. That's when she sneaks in those jumps. Try to get cute with the demon flip, though. That time he was ready. Abel with some solid anti-air defense here, though. Nice stand out pressure. Forced to race towards the corner. EX Ball, EX Ball. Yeah, now you just want to chill. Yep, got the confirm. That's that's yeah. the round right there. Yeah, they're like, you can do it. You can do it. Just keep keep it up. Keep playing like that. He kind of got lost the first round. The second round's a little bit more what you expect here. No anti-air dodges instead. Ooh, this close. is plus. Not sure why he pressed 2B. Plus, he still, a hard pressed, he still pressed 2M. Yeah. That was it, a hard it, read, too. It worked. Caught the jump. TP right back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not afraid. Plus, after that, ah, oh, he had the EX drill, but didn't spend it. Yeah, caught Teresa trying to backdash. Yeah. yeah, that was another. That was really interesting right there. So in the corner, like, Cat definitely got nerfed hard. Like that, he didn't even try to pressure. He just like five L and stop. Try to see what Teresa would do. Yeah, just choosing the escape. Super jump out of there. Dead even on life. Okay, he's dead. Yep. 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 So Cat still just. Cranks out the damage. Right, if you're near the wall, you get hit by the EX drill. Like, nothing changed about that. She lost 100 damage on the B drill, which is like nothing. Especially a lot of times, Kama's not even going to do B drill. I think we're back to Cat. It's just the way that matchup is. Too. It's like yeah. corner control is so important, right? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just going back to Cat. Screw that. I think Cat is enough. Cat is enough to take out Bobby. <laughs> so now, who are they going to send it? Again, we saw before, they put in a uh, ferry. Are they going to put up a ferry? <laughs> Do you, Daiji's, Daiji's down a star. Mochi hasn't been touched yet. Would you put in... <sighs> against Cat? I mean, we saw how, how ferry beats Cat before. I feel like they, if they could put Daiji back in, maybe just uh, have him bow out. Or... I mean, the thing is, do you want to do you want to lose a player now, or and protect Mochi, or <laughs> or what? They put in Kako. Okay. Yeah, I wonder how this works. This might this might work too. You know, he's not as good of a zoner as Ferry, but he can play that zoning game, outspace cat. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's a, in theory that could work, but uh, in practice, I'm not so sure. You gotta remember, Abao probably has character matchup experience with this character as well. Yeah, and this is the first time we're even seeing Kako play. Yeah, he didn't get to play last week. He didn't even get to play last week. Who didn't get to play last week? Kako, Omito. I don't think. Taco? Shirada didn't play last week, did Shirada he? didn't play. Yeah. Uh, Taco played. I remember they called him Octopus. Omito didn't play. <laughs> the, the chat is saying, or not the chat, sorry guys, the Discord. The K, guys, we're listening to the KO players in their own Discord. We can't hear the Guilty Gear players, but they just said, hey, don't worry, this character's really weak. Just beat him. DP. Swing in the mid range here. Yeah, right. He's a, he's a mid range character. And then, yeah, this time not getting away. About. No, to watch out for the dive. Two good reads early on, though. Ready for the teleport as well. He definitely is comfortable with this matchup. Good little mash, good little punish. Stackered stand light pressure. Kako trying to just dive out the corner here, back to center stage. About definitely the victor in that exchange. Yeah, that's a. Uh... Could just teleport out. It looked like he did on reaction, too. That's another thing. Oh, he's airborne. They're not going to hit the grab. That's unfortunate. Why are you going for the grab? This poor character. He said, I read it. I read it. <laughs> I, 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 I DP'd that on reaction. Plus, standing a block. He's plus after that as well. Teleport. He's plus after that. About. He knows. He knows when he can press. He knows when he can't press. Yeah, it goes for the low. Right, so that EX, the first hit is a low, and then we saw the universal overhead, okay? 
Yep, yeah, and the EX, t I, was, I was not sure he was going to be able to kill right there, but the DP was enough. But yeah, the pressure, if you get in there and uh, he starts blocking you, the EX sweep or the universal overhead is like, it's a little 50-50. Doesn't get too much off of it, but about looking comfortable. Even so, Kako taking the first game. And now he's three for three on DP so far. Really solid reads. Yeah. And it's not like Bub's got a good DP. He just... Not afraid to let it rip. It's interesting. He plays characters without reversals in, uh, in GG, too. He doesn't, you don't really see him leverage that, that much. Yeah, over to block. The pressure is over, and now it's his turn. Oh, nice whip. Nice whip punish on the sweep. Back just perfectly out of range. What the? To the others? What the hell? Did he roll? <laughs> I didn't even see that. Did he roll for Yeah, it looked like it sucked him in. And he rolled through yeah. to the other side. Yeah. Oh, diving back to center stage here, trying to give himself a little bit of space. Uh oh. Nice EX dive. Yeah, towards oh, the wall. Put in the wall there. Bow in trouble. Good guard on the overhead. 100 meter on both sides. Yeah, interrupt the black hole right there. And again. Oh, that time he got him. He's got super. Yeah, one hit right away in the super does max damage. Get the animation. <laughs> That's it. So Kako not getting a chance to play last week. This week getting up there, taking a puts up out on his back. Yeah, yeah. that's right. One of the top players with bubs. Yeah, weak character. <laughs> a weak character, very popular character. You know, whenever I stream the game, whenever we talk about the game, chat is always asking, "How's bubs? How's bubs?" Let's see. You want to be watching? Don't watch me. Watch uh, Kako. Watch Gosho. I think it's it's undeniable too, right? There's nobody that say this character has he's got he's got potential or something. I think he's universally is considered one of the weaker characters now. But these guys showing what happens if you devote yourself, you put in the work, you put in the time. Now he, now you got to send up Gosho, right? He's the kind of character I think like it might take a ver like a patch or a version or two maybe for him to kind of like com become complete. He just seems kind of awkward. Yeah, right he's, now. yeah that's that's <gasps> awkward. Is the, awkward is the best word. Yeah, awkward. It's like what, what's what's he doing? Like, what's his strength? What's his specialty? We don't know. But yeah, you gotta send Go Show now. We gotta have the the Bub Mirror match. Try and decide who is the best Bubs. There's a few other though. There are a few other masters. We don't know Kako is a master yet. <laughs> Before, though, they sent up who? Who did they send up to beat Bubs? They sent up Lance? I forget. Yeah, I forget. Too. Bubs me, I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're saying we still have Grand, so, you know, the, the, the Grand's still available here. They're, they're planning late. Yes, the thing, like, planning what characters you want to send up, you have to plan to protect. You want to protect, like, what you're, I'd imagine your Grands, your Cats. They want to protect Lance, too, going into the stretch, I would imagine. Oh, yeah, they sent Ferry. Chad is right. Yeah, they sent the Ferry to, to just destroy Gosho's bubs. <laughs> oh, that was Daiji, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it was just like, you know, just textbook. So Ferry destroys bubs, and you put in Lance, who beats Ferry, and then it's, we just been going counterpick after counterpick after counterpick. The only person to get more than one win so far has been Chirada. <laughs> Oh, they're sending in score. Okay. All right. Here we go. Now, yeah, now the game starts. We're one hour in, and we're only not even halfway done yet. 15 to 16, but we're seeing one of the big dogs out now. This is where things can change. Yeah, he could go on a streak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, in terms of formats and stuff, I'm not. I think I probably prefer last week's format, personally. But the cool thing is, I like seeing different formats. I like like I like seeing people try stuff, right? Nothing wrong with changing it up, especially for an event like this. He said, where the spirit is, uh, where the spirit of the competition is, community representation, right? Trying different kinds of formats like this, I I think is uh, really fun to watch. So score entered the room, but they're saying Palm wants to go in. Even though Palm is down a point already, apparently he really wanted to go well, scores, in. Scores at the cabinet, yeah. man. Yeah, he's in. All right. He says he's a pro. Scores talking, trolling. He says I'm, I'm a ma I'm a man, uh, master of mashing the B. So Lance, of course, got his uh, 
I mean, that's what happened with all the characters. They all got their close Bs, their close mediums nerfed, but they're far and they're crouching. They're still, like, Lance's 2B is still godlike. Just 2B Rekka, 2B Rekka, 2B Rekka, 2B Rekka. Far B Rekka, Far B Rekka, Far B Rekka. So, yeah, we saw earlier, you know, talking about how Bubs got problems. Like, last time they put in a Fairy, so Fairy, fairy just outzones him, right? And now they're taking the opposite approach. Just putting in Lance, which is going to rush him down. So this whole match is going to be just Kako trying to run away for dear life. Going to feel desperation, again, especially against Score. Score is notorious not just for, like, the KOF team, but anyone who's playing Granblue right now. Like, this is a known player. This is a guy you see every day fighting, like, some of the best players in the entire world. Just first to 50 sets. Like, he, you're not going to surprise him with anything. But it's a first to one. Yeah, like, what are you swinging with? How do you beat this character with both? Oh, he almost had the whip punish. He almost had the whip punish on a dive there. Kaka put up the Hail Mary DP. Score with the easy slide. Yeah, baited. See, that's what we saw happen earlier. Who was the guy? Oz did that same setup before, but uh, he messed it up a little bit. Score demonstrating it properly. That option will bait both the throw and the option select. Nice. Gets the low touch after the black hole. Push the wall could have milked a little bit more damage out of that. Gets the overhead in the throw. Kako now. Yeah, he wants that teleport. Over it, connecting again. There's the teleport. Oh, hey, he game. saved it. He held out. Good patience, man. He knew Kako was looking for yeah. it, was waiting for it. Held onto it just long enough to be able to come down with it. Yeah, the teleport is so strong. You, you saw. You saw yeah. Kako just completely could not play his game. He just had to... Pray for that teleport to come out. He gets strong like three times. Finally, score lets it rip and wins the round. And that was the yeah. Finally, Kako pressed the committed to pressing a button to perfect whip punish. All right, Kako got the corner. He's grabs doing work. Goes low that time. Man, he is DPing like a madman. And wall jump. That was still in the game. I can't believe it. Late tech still Lance's turn. Try to bait up the DP that Kako's been going to a lot recently. EX dive out. Just break the pressure. Go back to neutral. Gorilla Blade. That's a nerf, right? So that was pre-patch. He would have gotten tagged out of that for a ton of damage. But that increased startup, he ended up losing to the Fireballs. Just outside of SSBA range. And then there it is. In the corner, score. Next Got touch again. wins. That's he gets it. it. Okay. Same setup, right? You just run. Jump straight up. If they try to tech the grab, they get bodied. If they try and dodge over it, they get bodied. Yeah, it was, like, it was working, right? <laughs> the setup kept getting hit by my, my run up. Neutral jump. That's a mix up in its own, too, right? His jump heavy is two hits. Very rare for this game. So he can do, you know, two hits, one hit, which is just the overhead, and then go low after that. But yeah, Kako, you know, he did work. He got one, one and done, like everyone else. So now the game starts. Yeah, now score might be going on a streak. We'll How see. do you. So, yeah, stop, like, you have to stop him right here. <laughs> you can't let him get too many lobs. Yeah, you have to stop him right here. Force them to have to lean more on Abao. Force them to have to lean on M Dash, Laggy, Atari. So, you know, they haven't even put up U Uguisu either. Mm -hmm. You can't let score get hot like that. And again, we saw it earlier. Like I mentioned it earlier with the. Uh, the character matchups, like he, he, Lance is not a character that you can just really counterpick. He's so flexible. He's got so many so many tools that you can't just shut him down. You're going to have to outplay score. So I put in Consume. Consume, you know, last week he had, he, he streaked early. But I was, like I was saying, he didn't look too clean. Let's see if he, he's been grinding. I disagree. I don't, I don't think you put up Mochi yet. I think setting, setting, Fairy up against lives oh, yeah. like Why? that. Yeah, no, no, you don't put a mochi. Yeah, yeah, no. You said that. Maybe when, maybe if you take one of scores lives now, then you can play that matchup, right? But not now. You, that's a matchup again. That's a key matchup that they want to avoid. So this is Grant. So Grant is like you know he's like just like a grenade, right? So even if Consume is not at scores level, even if he's not playing his best today, Grant can always just kill you into a hit. Yeah, he can it, always it, just rob. It doesn't take much yeah. more than just a side switch. Yeah. Oh, you got counter hit. Good game. There is. That's a mix up I talked about earlier. The two hit overhead. Really hard to tell if it's going to be two hits or just one hit into the low. So Consume blocking the first hit, then trying to switch his guard, but nope. Second hit tagged him. Round one score. And I think we're going to start seeing a streak here. Score playing well. <laughs> 
Yeah, looking at, looking at this, when we saw the team line up on paper, I was like, that's going to be the... That's going to be a tough roster that they have to get over. Wait, Tay? Over a nice block from score. And then DP Dan, Consummate feeling himself. Consummate with yeah, the reach. It's going to hurt. They don't want to burn any EX. Want to save for the next hit, that king kill. Back yeah. up. EX fireball. Okay, cool. score's turn. Center stage. <laughs> that is that far being a Rekka. Oh. <laughs> Will of Blade, another counting sweep. Consummate was doing that nice. all last week. So he bet, he bet. He wanted to win the round right there. So if that DP counter hit, if Consummate tried to challenge with an anti air and got countered, he would have lost. That's like 60%. But score with the big gamble didn't pay off. Good patience from Consummate. Nice, yes. Same thing we saw before. Yeah, still though, man. Score with just really, really good control. Never really oh. feels like he's down. Oh, man, that was a sick conversion. Push to the wall. Consummate. With a chance here, Gorilla Blade pass through. Yeah, just get out of there. Roll overhead. Okay. He's, dead in hit. No, he's dead in the hit. He's at the corner. Fireball blocked. That score big. knows. That score knows. <laughs> Staggered light pressure. That oh, so what a side switch. Cheap. Oh, my God. I can't believe the wall jump did a good touch. And then in the ice plant? Yep. yep. Goes empty low that time. He's out. with the jump. You! He X fireball. Actually, bad combo. Yeah, he's not That's, dead. No, he's he, not going to die. He's got one more chance. One more chance. That was a horrible comment from Consummate. And he might not get another chance. Oh, Consummate. Don't... Not like this. He X Blade. Super. He's dead. He got him. Consummate. Man. That was. He's definitely punching himself right now. So he, he, he got out of the corner. Jumped D. Like he had the combo to kill. But he messed up. He did the auto combo. <laughs> he did not confirm. He could have just done one, two fireball. Could have done yeah, one fireball. He did the full auto combo. Scaled the entire combo. Didn't get the kill. <sighs> Ugh, that's what I was saying, man. Like he's, uh, you're not gonna beat score like that. He had him. He had him. <laughs> he's dipping. No one's playing two in a row. Oh man, that one thing. <laughs> That, 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 we might come back to that one later and be like, yeah, that was a turning point. He had him. He had him. Yeah. It yeah I mean, he, he had the hit. He had him. It you wasn't right? hard. It wasn't, like, execution. I think it was just nervous. He was like, oh, my God, it hit. It hit. It hit. He was just not ready. Didn't believe. Run it back. No, he ran. He's not running it back. So, scores now, too. Who they send in? Omito? I don't know. Well, they, they fight each other, so I don't know. <laughs> Rest him real quick. Maybe now's a good time to... Mm. It, seems if you, it seems like if you put anybody... It seems like if you put anybody except what? Shirada, Omito... You don't want to put Mochi up right now. Even Summit, even Summit Zoe, I, putting Zoe up against Score Score Lance doesn't seem like the best. It just doesn't doesn't feel good, right? May, uh, maybe. No, you don't want that. I'm thinking they they maybe you give Roy a chance. Maybe it feels like a throwaway, but I mean, when are you gonna leverage that? That's him saying, yeah. Try try Roy. All right, so they put Taco in. Man, that's I don't know about this. Just run the other grand, but this is Taco's last life. I guess they're looking at it as they get, they have to get score off, you know. Like like I said, I, I think this is one of this is two keys to the matchup in one, right? You have to be able to deal with score, and you have to be able to deal with Lance. So here we go. Right off the bat, Taco. Good press here. Throw in the corner. Okay. Caught score, trying to reach. Another grab that time. <laughs> Heavy life lead for Taco here. Got corner control, but then, yeah, wall jump. And now, they ma now the match starts. Here we go. Ice, empty low. EX Rekka gets his throw off. Wow, micro walk out. Mash that shit. Let's go. All right, Taco. And if Taco's gonna go down, but he takes score, if he takes score with him, if he takes one of Score's lives with him, that's that's a valuable bet. That would be a very good trade for them. 
You saw that. He's always going to win. That's one of the powers of the boot is Grant's airborne. So whenever he clashes, it's like... He gets a free air attack. Yeah, percent he's going to beat you. Nice. Great air to air. Yeah. Just punishing score for trying to advance. Got him again. He's in the corner. He has five bucks to trade. Doesn't want to deal with the pressure. A, 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 5B, Rekka. He's in position here. Now Taco's in position. He's got all his specials. That's a ball. Just... Oh! That's the OS right away. Mm. See, that's what we should have seen, right? One hit in the super max damage here. Going to bring him down a pixel, though. So Score's going to have teleport, which is safe. He's going to have his EX uh, or his super skybound, which is safe. T Octopus has to res respect him here. Oh, I hate this character. Or we just mash. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. Everyone is, is laughing. <laughs> it's one of Lance's... Uh, one of Lance's... Uh, you know, specialties is he does not have a far range light attack. So anytime his light attack hits, he's going to get his auto combo. So this, that's why this character will always just be mashing, always be pressing. All right, nice jump back from Taco. Boot, nice back dash from Score, mm. recognizing mm. he's going to try and get the uh, the plus frames sides. there. DP from Taco, yeah, but then yeah, down. right, they're, they're just, both just swinging on him. Yeah, and that was the read there from Score. He knew he saw Octopus try to do that earlier, try to cancel out the fireball. Super one hit, no. Saving it. Recognize he's not going to kill. Counter going to get the combo. Taco still in this. He's got fireball. He's got boot. And Fighting straight hit. Fighting for his life. Yeah. EX boot. Score now. Gorilla Blade on out. Oh, and 2M and then that's it. And that's the first extra player who's going to... Yeah. That's, that's a big one too. Taco's good. Yeah. Well, they lost the big one. But you see Grand, you know, uh, both times score almost lost. He almost lost there. Grand is a, a good pick against his character. <laughs> Taco out. I, I don't know what you do. Put in Chidata, put in Consume again. They've been close, too. <laughs> Just, man, I feel, like, I feel like at the end of the night... We're definitely going to come back to that consummate score match and be like, man, that was the point where everything could have changed. Oh, yeah, they do. Come on. Don't auto combo. You never want to auto combo in this game, guys. Just, just kill kill your damage right away. You especially don't want it to get to the point where you're picking between players being eliminated yeah. or putting your fairies up. You don't, that, yeah, without a doubt, they want to avoid. They want to save Mochi. Mochi and Dai, Daiji, they want to protect in this case, but it's going to hit that point where, like, like, look at who else you even have to put up. I'm thinking put Roy up, but they should have put Roy up before. Just t just see what see what Loane can do, right? Maybe Roy gets lucky, can make something happen, throw a score off. What are you saving Lewayne for? You know. Yeah, you're gonna. Yeah, you have to put him up eventually. But anyway, going up against Chilal, they might lose another player here. And again, yeah. Chilal is really good. He did work earlier. <laughs> Taco is really good. They lost him as well. But yeah, these I don't, are, these I don't, are the matchups. I don't, I don't agree with the past two picks. I don't agree. They, they definitely should have put Roy up. They should have put Roy up before Taco for sure. <laughs> Cash money, man. Put Lil Wayne in. See what he can do. Chirada now fighting for his life. Yeah. Score. Right in that man, in that ass, right off the bat. Yeah, easy counter confirm here. <laughs> EX, yep, and that's a punish with the jab. Chana doesn't have the drill, so not too scary right now. One, two, got him in the corner. We've seen score just doing so good avoiding the corner. You know, Lance got so many options: the wall jump, the teleport. He's out. All right, that was a good trade. And there's a punish. Okay, didn't have the drill, so just goes for the DP ender. Yeah, good awareness from Chirada. Guard from score again, wall jump. <laughs> Try to go for optimal damage there, but a little bit too high. I didn't get it. Pop, 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 and here's Lance pressure. This is so cheap. Drop the ice. It hits. Yeah, that's it. Just 5B Rekka, 5B Rekka, 5B Rekka, 5B Rekka. There's no real mix up. You just throw it out. It's always your turn. I think a counter hit, you get the free confirm after that. If it hits, you get a confirm. You have to avoid that, that territory. You can't let him get started. 5H. You didn't have the Gorilla Blade right there. That's a punish. Yep. Mm -mm. Run up dodge. Try to get to DP. You know, Chow's been doing a lot of DP still. This time he read it. Woke up with sweep instead. Good roll. Yeah, you have to choose your options against that. The EX Ice. You want to jump, roll. The worst thing you want to do is block, though. Okay. 
Nice. Deep anti-air conversion. Using the focus to extend it, take him to the corner. Nice scary. DP. Scary. He knew that wall jump was coming. That's still that's still really really scary because he barely got it yeah. right. If if he was like just half I mean a your window late. is your window is not very large yeah. anyway. If if that was blocked, he would have got blown up here. But oh, okay, staying alive. This, this is how every game with score is going. Yeah. They're they're fighting well, man. They're getting in there. It's just can one of them close it out? And Chirada now fighting for his life too. Nice backup, staying heavy. Chirada now. Clash, Clash yeah, in favor of Lance lose. again. You're yep. going to lose. Lance, 5 is going to beat everything. Big overhead there. EXDP. Yeah, he's changed his option up every single time after the X-Ice. Shirada giving up his turn for these overhead attempts. I mean, that's that's the thing about Cat, right? That's the big nerf. That's why people are crying she's not strong anymore. She doesn't have a turn anymore. You just have to go for the overhead. Oh, hey, wow. Wall jump cross up, <laughs> and now we get the ice. Ready? Good luck. Can you block the mix? Just goes double low here. Goes guard. Staggered pressure here. Rolls oh. out, catches him. Chirada is out of here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I think that was some sort of option select. I don't know. There was no way he reacted that fast. But as soon as the the far B whiffed, 5L was there, catching him in recovery. Score now three in a row. Yeah, I really don't like this, man. I'm debating two. They they sacrificed Taco and Shirada to protect Roy Lewing. <laughs> they were close, both of them, but yeah. Still hard hard disagree. GG team getting body? Yeah, I mean this was kind of what most people expected, right? You looked at this team lineup. We we, we were talking about it the whole set. Abao, Score, M Dash, Lagia, Tareso, Gosho, Oz. <laughs> you look at that lineup, and it's like the way the character matchups are too. You're heavy fairy on the extra side, but you're heavy lance on the KOF side. And then I want to say the KOF side has more masters than than the extra yeah. side does as well. So it, this this wasn't we anticipated this. We knew that this was going to come down to this. But man, it just hurts for me to see them. They're protecting Roy, Lil Wayne. You, you sacrificed Churata and Taco I, mean, they might, I feel like, you know, they were so close. They were playing so well. Maybe they were just feeling it. You know, like, I can do it. I can do it. Maybe. <laughs> this thing, Fastiva. Oh, they're bringing in Obito. Fan favor, the guy you didn't get to see last week. <laughs> His, uh... We don't know why, but Obito's name has always been Fastiva. Even though he plays Gran and then... <laughs> Never mind. So these guys are friends. Both West Coast, right? Score and yeah. and uh, Omito. Omito. Score, calls score much, yeah, much older player, right? Yeah. They they all kind of look up to him, but Omito is also they they played a, a few arc of the same arcades uh, over the years. Namba Hills, uh, what um Monte Fifty, those kinds of arcades where there's heavy KOF and Guilty Gear crossover. So they they know each other really well. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Bio Mito just hit master this week a few days ago. He doesn't as strong as he is, he's such a strong, like, you know, just a fighting game player in general yeah, as two well. Two time but, Evo champ, yeah. you gotta put it on him. But he himself feels like he's still not ready. He always yeah. talks about, you know, my my Narmai is still not good. Still have like so much I have to master. How this many character. master Narmai's are there? Uh, I don't know. Fujimura is one, uh, Daiwa is one, but Omito is really, you know, he's doing a lot of tech that, look at that, that's an option select right there. He's doing a lot of tech that is not, people, this is what the people say, is not practical, like this can't be done in a real match, but Omito is grinding it out, handling score that first round. Mm. Yeah, it's about winning neutral at that. that range right there, and then yeah, push to the wall, take control, be able to bet. Correctly deal with the teleport, but that time the score able to get out. EX Ice runs up, grabs. <laughs> Takes a corner for himself here. Omito. TP, yeah, we got to challenge that. That's the thing, yeah. Narmai also really strong character, right? Just a little bit more involved yeah. than some of the other ones, right? Very, very strong. Very, very difficult to play, right? Just because of the stance yeah. cancels, yeah. Not just that. Like, her moves also are, are strong but hard to use. Like, you have to be a good player. You have to have good footsies, good neutral. Meanwhile, Lance players can just go absolutely ham, right? Just jump at you. And there's a cross up, right? Caught score sleep, and he might be dead. Oh, he didn't get the combo. He didn't get the wall bounce. So one that. hit away. Plus. 
Backed away, expects something to come out. Unable to anti-air, gets tagged out of his air-to-air -air attempt. Slash, get that out of here. And again, here it is. Oh, got the low touch. Oh, oh no, yeah. the wall jump again. All right, so this is, uh, <laughs> might be alive. This is good damage, but the off the auto combo, yep, is alive. Okay, let me do this one more chance. Oh, man. I'll be switching stances, trying to get something set up. Score put out the ice just as bait, right? Just put out the ice. It wasn't even going to hit him. Gorilla Blade came out there. Yeah, maybe he was trying to poke through the fireball. Yeah. Okay, unsafe. Unsafe uh, dash right there. <laughs> hey, hey. That's a punish. Yep. Score now taking gambles here. Trying to surprise uh, Omito with gimmicks, but he's not falling for him. Got to hold the wall here, looking for teleport. Next available opportunity. No, just try to jump there. Teleport a wall jump. There it is. Ooh. Nice cross Ooh, under. And then got another one. Maintains the corner, too. Jump, yeah, and that's the nerf, right? So the ice doesn't go full screen anymore. Yo, let's go Omito with a chance here. Okay, here comes score, though. Yeah, but every round, a score's been in the last. It just DP, word. Oh, no, no. It's not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not no like this. Omito! <laughs> that was nice. Yeah, they're, they're laughing. So that, that was reaction by Omito. That was not, the, he jumped way too late. That was not a safe jump. That was nothing. There was nothing to do right there. Omito was like, nope, hold this. So they had to win that to even, for it, this to even be competitive. So now Omito has to make a run. He looked really good though. Yeah. He, looked, he looked very good. He must have been grinding for this. Shout outs to uh, Kizzy K. Everyone's favorite. What do you mean? Well, I was wrong. He just talked about how weak uh, Narmaya is as a character. He's giving all the Narmaya fans, the, the all the Twitch monsters and YouTube monsters fuel. She's weak. She's weak. She needs more buffs. Omito showing what happens, man. Some dedication. Strong player. Controlling her. She's got a lot of – he did a lot of tricks too. <laughs> Snuck in a couple cross-ups. You know, very high – High paced gameplay coming out from Omito. <laughs> the Zeta strategy, they're going with the Zeta. Hey, where is Zeta? I'm surprised like no Zetas. Yeah, no Zeta. Well, we only had one last week, right? But this week is more emphasis on bubs. There's still, we still have one Percival to work, work with. Is there a Jita? That's what I want to know. Yes, there is one. I want to say Uguis plays Jita. <laughs> Cheetah, without a doubt. I, I still don't know when her wave is going to be there. Everyone jumped to Percy. I feel like that's a mistake. I feel like people should have jumped to Jita. Oh, speaking of, there's a Jita avatar. Oh, man. Yeah, we, yeah, it's Ugui, if I'm not mistaken. He plays he plays Jita. We forgot, completely forgot about her. Cheetah against Narmaya. These are like... The polar opposites. I want to say Jita might be the easiest character if I had to pick one. She might be the easiest character in the entire game. What makes her easy? Uh, all of her buttons are godlike. Her Rekka is safe. It just you confirm. You just throw it out all day. Similar to Lance, right? You why just, would you play Jita over Gren or Cat or a character like that? Why would you? Yeah. She's like I said. She's easier. First of all, you can kind of just stay in that mid range and let the character kind of play itself because it's very, very, very strong. Just like that. She's less risk, uh, like Grant's got to get in there, get in your face, keep some pressure. She's a little bit better in the mid-range. Oh, things like that. And then also, you know, she's everyone's waifu, man. The lobby was, like, good players switching there, not that many. But if you go in the lobby, there was like 80% Jitas. This is the most popular character in Grand Blue. Really? Yeah. What? Why? What? Like, what's, what's, uh, what's the fan appeal point? She got the thick thighs, man. <laughs> the game only has her whatever default costume, but you know, if you play the game, she has what, like 30? I don't know how many classes there are now. But all the different classes, all the cosplay, things like that. I'll have to. She's fast as hell, too. I'll have to check it out on the Bing.com image search when I get home. But yeah, it looked like they had a little connection problem, so they're just going to rejoin, make sure everything works here. Yeah, they're just swapping around. They're going to restart it. You know, online tournaments, of course, not optimal, but we, you know, take what we can get. You have to adapt. They announced Evo 
online. So uh, Evo Online was announced, and they uh, open tournaments for four games. Not for Grand Blue, but Grand Blue will have exhibitions, right? Didn't they say that? Yeah, who you think is going to... You, you versus Bobby? I'll do it. Let's you, go. You if, versus Bobby? Let's go. Mr. Wiz, if you're watching, let's go. Mr. Wiz, I'm ready. Put me in. Put me in. Roy just stand. Yeah, Roy is streaming. So he's handling uh, the stream for the Guilty Gear players. We're watching a bow stream, so he's handling the KOF players there. Is it worth even trying to learn Armaya when you have a character like Gran? If you uh, like her, I think. Yeah, so that that's the thing. There's, there's a very valuable thing in fighting games. And, uh, you know, obviously, pick a top tier, pick a character you like. But if you don't like... If you don't like the character, if you don't enjoy the character you're playing, you'll never be as good as if you're playing a character like you really are motivated to get good with. Like, I tried playing Grand for a while. He's just so boring. I was like, I can't keep playing this character. Omido's been grinding. He's like, you can tell that he loves that character. He's willing to push all that tech, develop all this stuff. Yeah, day one. Before, before she even dropped, really, he was already talking about her. All right, so they're ready. They got the match. They put Ogisu in there against Omito. Omito taking out score. He looked really good, too. He looked really good. Like, he yeah. might be going on a streak now. Oh, they got that work. I mean, he has to. He has to be able to He has to be able to lay down a streak as good as score laid down. Score got, what, three? Score got three, yeah. Chirata got two. Score got three. This is, uh, you know, one of their generals, I guess, on the on the expert side. So he has to be able to put pressure. He's got to run through Ugui, Uguisu and maybe even like Tarso and Laggy. He's at, or M Dash. He has to be able to call one of them out or get in, or get some eliminations going to bring this back. If he loses, I think now's the time to bring out Mochi too, or put Daiji in to lose. Perhaps Ferry yeah. against uh, Jita, pretty good. I, I, dude, I still don't like. I don't like them protecting Roy. Put Roy in. Anti air. Oh, didn't get a combo after that. Late tech will get some damage. But yeah, yeah Omito just really going to this throw. Yeah, it's time. Don't press the button. Again, that, that's the button right there. That 2B. One of the best 2Bs in the game. Maybe the best 2B in the game. I don't know. 2B in the record, 2B in the record, 2B in the record. Just so powerful. But Omito early showing that the, uh, the little moon slash right there will go over it. Nice. Good throw punish. Poking Kager stance. Nice. Max range with punish. Yeah, I think that was a mistake from Ogusu. He had the 5C and he got fireball. I think he was trying to get super. He's trying to do the auto buffer there, but didn't quite get it. Trying to poke with sets into there. Ogusu had a chance, but ultimately Omito comes out the winner of that situation. Yeah, see, pressure. That, that's one of the complaints people had about Narmaya. It's like her pressure, there's no pressure. So you see, Omito just goes like 1, 2, 3 special and just goes back to neutral. He's not relying on rushing you down, staying in your face. He was just out, like, footsie right here. And she has tools to be able to do yeah. that, too. Even like even against fireball characters, right? Like, yeah. Setsu not able to go through fireballs like that? Tech. Yeah, see? There you go. DP, that was brave from Mugusu, but it pays off. And there it is, the cross-up again. Everyone's getting hit by that today. Off the counter hit, light yeah. touch, too. He's canceling it early. Safe. Behind Whoa. the back, yeah. Nah, she's had a good anti since the beginning. To the wall, yep, man. Look render. at that clock yep, out. Yep, yep. Not enough to kill, but look at this damage. Next touch wins. Yeah. Oh, Overhead. Omito, quick to uh. That's what they. That's what he has to do. He has to do that Where's now. Where's Kizzy at? Where's Kizzy? Can't be. Can't be giving these Narmaya players, these Narmaya monsters in the chat, fuel to work with. Please watch Omito. Please watch a real man who understands the character, knows how to play the damn game. <laughs> Doing work out here. You see how much damage that anti-air combo is? That was another complaint they had. Is uh, Namar yeah. does no damage. Uh, that looked like a lot yeah. to me. <laughs> Namar does no damage. That was, that, that was a complaint they had. She got a lot of nice buffs. She got the most buffs out of anybody. And then everyone else got nerfed. And somehow... They put her even lower in the tier list? I don't know. <laughs> so you take a life off of Ugi's okay, take, take, take a life off score. They're putting Lagi. Lagi is... Uh, they still have Tariso, M Dash, and Lagia that have been unplayed. So, oh man, I just I just wish they would I wish they would have held on to Shirada and Taco a little bit longer. 
They were playing really well. So, so How has Roy not played yet? That's that's crazy to me. He's gonna be the hero. He's gonna be the last they're one. Gonna up. Play, they're gonna play. Throw Lil Wayne up as the, the anchor. Last okay. Guy. Cash money, baby. He's got the old master ready to go. Suddenly, like 18 frame delay when he summons Yiki. He's like, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Catalina versus Armaya. So they're putting up the young blood, man. Lagia. This guy is uh, a very special player. I think he's only 20 years old now, 2021. It is very rare for a young player to have high impact performances beating veterans in KOF in KOF games on huge, on global stages. This is one of the the few players who's been able to do something like that. In modern in the modern era, mind you. Murato. Uh oh. Bait and punish though from Omito. Push towards this wall. No damage. No damage. Oh, she's fine. What no are you talking damage. about? Poking with Kagura? Trying to get in there. Nice. Air, nice air to air. Hold this wall. That Counter really hit good. confirmed. That was really good. So a lot of times people just super jump out of the corner and not press a button because if they do, they get anti-aired. Omito's like, no, I'm not going to fall for that. I'm just going to jump back, keep you there. Got a good life lead now. That's uh, I think for that range minus. 21 is not young in the scene. It's the thing is he won in KOF 14 when he was like 18, 19. I mean, he got the life. He's just chilling right now, yeah. waiting for his uh, cooldowns to come back. He's got everything he needs right now. Cat not nearly as scary as she was. Like, oh. Lagia with the patience, too. Not trying to give it all. Oh, wow. I what a counter poke. That was, that was really, really cool. I fought Omito before with my cat, and, like, he knows the range on the drills. He tried with punishing with 5H, just out of range. Brave jump. And, again, he's just chilling. He's just chilling. doesn't matter. Not even trying to really yeah. tag the sword or anything like that. Just waiting for the hard commit. Yeah. <laughs> if Laggy is willing yeah. to give it to him. So that's the thing. It's like before that'd be very scary because Kat could just run in your face and then she starts to pressure. But she doesn't have that anymore. Yeah, she has to rely yeah. more on what on just dash up lights, yeah. dash up crotch lights. Like say he's all mids. She's dispensing mids. There's the grab. He can afford to take all the throws now. Yeah, he won. Just don't get hit. There's the DP. Yeah. Time was on his side. Look at that. Very, very lame. I've never seen anyone play like that actually. I can't recall a time a player just sat there in this game. Oh, very unlucky. Try to react with the EX slash. There'll be eighth counter instead. Now he's cornered. It's fireball here. He's out. Nice what a dodge. dodge. Yeah. That was the first time someone was able to deal with uh, the side swap from Omito. Yeah, and so now Omito, you can't just chill. You, you got the life deficit now. Just poking with Setsuna in half screen like that. Seeing what Laggy is willing to do, how he wants to approach. Kind of leveraging that Setsuna against Katarina's fireball game. Forcing them to rely more on stand M, crouch M at that range, or dash up lights if they want to. But again, Omito just creating this wall. Chip damage in this game is very, very high. Mm -hmm. You have the health advantage, but you're going to have to swap commit. Again. And now, hurt. yeah, this is going to be big damage here. 5C super. That move is doing work on everybody. Like you, you got one chance. Amido's in, Stance change. Amido's in the late mode again. Yep. Oh, DP, not the anti air. <laughs> but he's running back trying to get that mid range. And just poking with Setson again. Break on the grab. No break that time. Got to do something, Omito. Oh! Yeah. I didn't get the 5L after that. Got the light touch too, Lagia. So both players not in chip range yet. They got to block one more special, then they're dead. Oh. To Seven seconds. Oh, yeah, and there. That's that whiff punish I was talking you about. You just talked about it, yeah. yeah. Omito did that to me every time. I was like, is this guy serious? He's just waiting at that range. Oh, you want to drill? Nope. Her ground, her walk speed on the ground, at least back, very, very fast. The Omito spacing. Omito spacing, Omito patience, too. Even when I was like... Do yeah. something. He was just willing to just hold down back, eating throws. I don't when know he, if that was the right play. He was at life deficit, yeah. just, just chilling, you know? And now Omito, three. He got three. Yeah, the problem is this, though. We're Again, up. we're tied up, but we're not really. We're tied up, but the thing is, character matchup-wise, it's still in favor of KOF team too much, I think. Look at who Exert has lost already, right? They've lost one of their cat. They've lost their cat, and they lost one of their grands. 
their other grand has is one life down, you know? Omito looking good, though. If Omito can run the yeah. table, man, that's I mean, one, that's one thing. Last week it was Mochi, right? That was last week it was Mochi, Kari. Omito took out score. You know, if they want to sit in Oz right now, let's see. They're thinking, they're thinking. They were talking about sending in, like, we should send in the... Uh, Ferry here, but it's like, oh, but if, if Ferry beats Omido, then they're going to send in Charlotta. It's like, we're going to lose them. But you have to. You know, we're almost halfway done, so you're going to start losing your players now. You can't <laughs> protect anymore. <laughs> so I'm thinking, thinking, who do they send in? <laughs> they still haven't put out. Tarizo is the only player. Oh, M Dash, too. Tarizo and M Dash haven't gone out yet at all. Yeah, Oz and Kako play bubs, so you have those two players still on the, the table as well. But. Yeah, I don't. Who do you put up against uh, against an army like that? Who who gives her the most trouble? You think? <laughs> I have no idea. You want one of the Lance players to deal with her? I don't think. Like I don't think that's like a horrible matchup. I think the worst matchup for her is Ferry, probably. All right, they they decided to play it and who it was, but they're like, oh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. What about Tariso? Just put up Percy right now. Uh, is he Percy's cat? I don't know. Did he make the switch to Percy? But yeah, again, like that. I don't think. I don't. I don't think Thormai is a bad character. I don't think there's a. You can put up like Percy or or Cat and be like, oh, this will beat Omido. He's just playing well. She got you know. She got anti air. She got pokes. She got damage. She got a DP. She's got cross ups. She got the tools she needs. You just have to be good enough to use it. Yeah, so they're talking about the Gilded Gear team. Like, who's left? They're like, they got Luane, they got Zoe. Yeah, you see them, yeah, the theory drafting on the characters. Mm -hmm. It looks like they, they queued up Tarizo in the, in the overlay, so I think they might be sending up Tarizo. Okay. So you're going to see Percival versus Omito Narmaya. So Percival is uh, being rated very, very, very highly after the last patch. Yeah, okay. So Todd is a person been rated very, very, very high. I mean, every list I've seen, of course, it's going to change, but has him up there in the top. It's like him and Gran, him and Gran, him and Gran. You know, he's very, he's got everything. He's got the DP, he's got pokes, he's got uh, decent damage off the good starters, command grab. Yeah, so Tarizo is another one of those players just from Osaka region as well. Uh, maybe best known for KOF 98 and KOF 13, uh, but... He's going to be familiar with Omito. These guys have played together offline before. Uh, this game didn't have uh, too long to get those offline games in, but they, they have played each other before. Osaka versus Osaka, GG versus KOF. <laughs> Tadis are just uh, in the Master Tournament, the Master Only Tournament that they did like a week and a half ago or something. Mm -hmm. He did some work. He got pretty far. Omito was not a master at that time, so he didn't enter, but now he is. Oh, it's the Rankers battle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Tadizo was in there, played a couple matches on the stream. Jump heavy, right? That's the buff he got here. Mama, mama, mama. It's okay. Slow pokes. Yeah, get, getting stocks. Because if you don't know Percy, he needs stocks to really power up, so you're going to see him charging up a lot. My question Omito. is, will Omito give him too many opportunities to be able to do that yeah. brawl? Is he going to have to earn those hits to be able to hey. do it after? You saw that late hit come from there. Drop the combo over here, but still in a very good position. Yeah, he was able to get the charge yeah. off, but just got interrupted yeah. in what he, whatever he was trying to do. Bro, that 5-H is so good. You're dead. Yeah. Wow. That 5-H is ridiculous. Her it's combos, ridiculous. The, they don't even look like they should hit that long, yeah. right? They look. I'm thinking the combo's over before it's... Uh, he's just doing two and three more hits more than what I'm expecting. It's a lot more damage than you think. Yeah, no fireball necessary. Try to grab. Tadis is just jumping away. Nice dodge on the sets. Win the... punish right there again. Just abusing that 5-H. That back and forth. Tarzo had a good dodge there. Took, tried to take his turn. And this Boop. Omito just denied him. Max range far heavy like that. Nah, and and look at his reward here. Push towards the wall. Health advantage. Oh, he didn't have it. Didn't have the stock right there to get that the drop. Okay. Tarzo with the chance here. Off the low touch. Got the meter. Building the gauge. 
Got 100, takes his stocks here. That's what he was looking for. Be able to win in neutral, get a combo off, take my stocks after the knockdown. He's got three stocks now. Oh, he didn't get the launch. That would have been the round. Oh, until not out of it. Yeah. Good, good block, though. Yeah. You gotta imagine they. You have to imagine KOF squad has scouted that by now. Omito's willing to just got what, stand him. out. Got him. Got him standing up. Mm. That's the that's the personable special. You just throw it out. It's safe. It's very very fast. It hits low. You just like I hope this hits. You throw it out. Oh, it hit. I won. Five H. Yeah, didn't get a combo after that though. Tarzo with the chance to be able to try to slow down this momentum here. Omito again pushed towards the wall. No anti air. Tarzo with the corner pressure. Yeah, Lance, of course, has a D, or, uh, sorry, Percy's got a DP there, so just that, that extra layer. You try to beat the DP. Tardis was one step ahead, just jumped out. Guard Crush gets a little bit of damage, but it gives up his uh, EX move on that. No touch. Omito trying to take grab. Wow, just went in there. Baited. And Tarzo with big advantage yeah, now. Yeah, so he gets stocks off this. That's the big thing. Yeah. Full five stocks. Not, not really damage, just stocks up. He got super two. Very high damage potential off of the next touch. Able to yeah. walk under him. Omito able to take the corner here. Milk out. Still clocking out damage. Yeah, didn't want to spend the super. Wasn't going to kill there. Next touch. Oh, oh what off a the challenge. Light. Okay. And I like that. See, that's what uh, Taco didn't do earlier, right? He, he did the full auto combo. Tadezo confirmed it. One, two. Didn't do the last hit. Max damage right there. He's got the likely, but Omito still fully stocked. Jump back jab. Yeah, that was the fatal error that Consume made earlier, ah. right? <laughs> wow, off the command grab. Scaling, though. He ain't going to die. He ain't going to die there. Omito, what you got? Hey, and then a yeah, very, very powerful 2L there. Ooh, they're clapping. They're like, yes, thank God. Yeah, that's a big win. Thank God. Oof. That was close. So though. Tarizo over Omito. That takes one of his lives yeah. away. So now for the extra team, I, dude, I have to imagine against Percy. Just throw, you in, put, just throw in Roy. Just screw it. Throw in Roy? Just or, throw in Roy. Or do you put, yeah, I'd say Roy or Summit maybe. Zoe? Percy's worst matchup is Fairy, but... You want to protect the fairies yeah. right now. <laughs> you want to protect the fairies. Hold on to the fairies until you know that the that the lances are either low in number or out. Well, I mean, like, S Score and Oz are down to one life. I mean, I feel like putting in Mochi is fine. Just put in Mochi now, yeah. and then the next time even you want to keep loses, Fairy up, still, yeah, yeah, you still have the IG in the back. Yeah. Put in Mochi, try and beat Percy. If they put in a lance, then you have the advantage, right? If you can send in Omito. No, I'm on, I'm on your... I'm thinking putting yeah, some in a Roy. Put some in a Roy now. Mochi just jumped in there. This is a uh, matchup stuff right now. So this is his worst matchup, but of course Percy got buffed, Fairy got nerfed. So it is better than it was before, but it's still the worst. Yeah, so Mochi came through. So last week we saw Mochi run through the the quote unquote BB tag team. Yeah. That fraudulent BB tag team. But anyway, the thing is I think a lot of people, when they watch him play, they, they're used to thinking, like, oh, yeah, Fairy has that, that 2D just like Soul, right? Or maybe some, maybe some people might have thought this was an awkward character pick for him. But if you really know who he is, he's a Bridget player. He's used to playing at this mid-range like this, using a lot of these long, longer-reaching normals like that. Uh, playing with really fast reactions to be able to try to queue up anti-airs and then try to, again, use setups like that, right? If you know anything about the way that character works in that game, this is a perfect fit for him, like a glove. That 2D you mentioned, though, in this, specifically in this matchup, it's really, really busted. That, so that fireball you saw from Percy, that's a lot of his pressure, just button, fireball, button, fireball, button, fireball. Fairy can just mash 2D and just shut down any option he has. Does Mochi know that? Oh, definitely. But he's running. Wow, that's crazy. Dive with, still able to anti-air. Okay, wow, nice just walk forward. Just let her yeah. walk. And now here, this is where Fairy's getting started. Rope up, blow him up. Yeah, didn't have GG right there available. Auto combo and ready with the sweep. Just jump back normal to be able to try to interrupt Tarzo's advance. Oh! Just Late dash in and that's where GG came out. Scoop, stay there. No diving out for you. And then button from Mochi. Into SSBA. That's enough, yeah. Even with the auto combo, even with the light, this should kill. We saw it earlier, too, with Daiji. This is the first time we've seen Mochi, but these, uh, these fairies, they're really good with their wake-up buttons. Well, I mean, if you, if you can't rely on DP yeah. at that range, then, yeah, what else does she have? 
block. He could block. <laughs> well, yeah, he could yeah, block, yeah. but no, they're, they're mashing like crazy. It's worth it. Plus, but yeah, a little bit too far. It's, so it's, it's, it's net play, net play, baby. We don't block them. Come on. Jump back, jump heavy. Yeah, this time he chose not to dive out, but oh, just straight whip connects. Yeah. And that's going to get him out yeah. the corner, yep. And the side switch and the damage, not done yet. Beppo Ender. And you can just get it back into this range where you can poke away with heavy, stand heavy, crouch heavy, crouch uh -oh. ass. That's unblockable. Oh, that's godlike. Yeah, unblockable. Didn't really have any cooldowns, so couldn't get much after that, but that's so cheap. The awareness, man. Mochi. Right. Letting you know what time it is. Here we go. Her install is just so good. Why did, Why does she get the give it to give it to Soros? Tragic, but yeah, you see, Todd is just handled. Percival, how I don't understand how you're gonna have this character so in a tier of his own when Fairy just absolutely destroys him. So if you're KOF, do you either throw up M dash or do you set up? I have to imagine you set up one of your lances immediately. Just if they're if they're willing to to, to force that trade, so if you want to put up a fairy line, they're putting an M dash. I, I like M dash. You know, it's not like it's not like uh, fairy's unbeatable. You know, you might as well just try and see. You know, M, M could take him out maybe. If especially if you're running Grand, that's not as bad of a matchup for her Dude, as. I'm just saying, who is coach on Exer team? What are they doing protecting Roy for this long? <laughs> They might be trying to wear everyone down so that when they're tired, that's when you throw that's in. When you put that's in when you put in like, <laughs> the, the gimmick. You're like, oh, my God. It's like Mario Party, like the last turn, and then yeah. you got to play the jump rope game. No. But, yeah, the thing is they're playing everything so far has been matchup, 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 matchup. They're going optimal stuff. The problem with the extra teams, they have weak characters, right? Yeah. Like, uh, I would Wayne say is weak. Character, yeah. character matchup-wise, they lose on right. paper, right? Summit as well. Playing Zoe. Zoe's not a character that's going to beat anybody on that team. You just have to put them out and hope they can do their best. We saw the bubs. Both of the bubs did work. They got a kill. But, yeah, of course, you know, we're talking about Lance, Lance, Lance beats Ferry, but uh, Grant can also beat Ferry. Yeah, he's lots of ways yeah. to be able to advance. His, his fireball isn't yeah. bad either. It's not, this is not like, oh, this is free for Grant, but it's, you know, he can definitely do this Went much better than Percy can. And the thing is, last week we saw Mochi take out Kubo. The other thing, too, are his normals are really good for being able to counter poke, too. Again, remember the lingering hurt boxes on a lot of those whip normals. For Grant, yeah, you see him just booting his way in, just getting into his optimal range. Wow. Uh -oh. Close out in the sweep. Oh, in the nice GG. Oh, oh, I thought, I thought, oh, I thought he had it. It's just a little bit too late. Here's GG. Lock him in the block stun. Just take the chip damage. Mochi, yeah, just get on out. Get back to optimal range here. Stand heavy. Confirm into whip. Oh, you're dead. And One button. Super <laughs> yep. good game. <laughs> Damn. Well, all right, that was the only mix-up. The right, only time M Dash got put in a mix up and just right away EXDP and Mochi was ready for it. Yes, M Dash has a the teacher relationship towards Lagia. So right now. EXDP, that's the nerf, right? If he'd put out a 2B, he would not have been able to get that anti air, but Mochi was right. He didn't even just waited. He's like, I know you're going to jump now. I'm chilling. And again, I hate that. She can change her trajectory from the fall. Fell down earlier, was ready with the anti air. And against Mashing 2D immediately after that, 2D, 2D, 2D. Mochi with good movement too, right? You see him doing a lot of back dashes, just get just out of just out of range of boot. Try to fish for a sweep, knock down on it. Oh, he almost had the H. It no recovers, recovery. it recovers There's very no recovery, fast. Yeah. Woo. That's ran all the way there. And then took another big risk right there. Finished the Rekka, but Mochi right back with the XDP. And now he's chilling. He's got the life lead. No counter. I do not know why her drill and the, the Tarzan swing are not counted. Our drill's counted, but that Tarzan swing needs to be counted. EX Bapo. GG going to lock him down in the corner here. And again, Mochi just willing to take his guaranteed chip. Okay, that was a crush. Yeah, counter hit boot. That was one of the new changes here. You know, stop jumping. Mochi's reactions are too yeah. good. It's going to, if you have to really catch him off guard or really just, it's jumpings are a read against him. Oh, wait, he, okay. he stole yeah. it, he stole it, he stole it. Yep. This is why This is why Grand has no bad matchups, right? They're all laughing. They, everyone, everyone who plays this game has been hit by this at least like 20 times. You're playing so well, you're playing so well, and then whoop, little boot hits you. So yeah, even though Mochi looked like he was in control, you're never truly in control against Grand. He always has one chance to take the round. 
And now we're going to round three. Or it's, you have that control, but it's just a very fragile control, right? It can fall apart so easily. He doesn't need much. You give him one touch in the corner, and then that's all, really all it takes. But wow, nice conversion. Yeah, even off the XTP, yeah. he was still able to get everything. Bad ball. And that was a yeah, oh, he's done. He's finished. Oh. Getting HN in the corner. This is so cheap. Yeah. Come the out. <laughs> Comes yep. with the jump heavy and the sweep to close it out. Mochi. So the, the reason why he got hit by the low right there is because after you jump in with that, when you're in install mode, you can go instant overhead, right? Yeah, you just do expecting instant the high. overhead. Just have to guess. Why is this character so good? It's crazy. It feels like they made two characters and just gave, put it all in one. Let's give her everything. But yeah, taking out uh, one one life off Dash. So now everyone on KOF team is still in the running, but they're on their last life. They still have a full yeah. They still have a full yeah. squad, full character roster is the thing. Extra gave up their cat and one of their grains. That's the difference here. And for what? <laughs> to protect Lil Wayne. I think the more you talk. Smack on Yggdrasil, I feel like something's gonna happen now. I think just like the karma, Roy's gonna carry. Lil Wayne did work in uh, the, the Rankers tournament. It was like the Triple S guy who was a Lil Wayne player. The Yig mix ups are too real. You just play Yggdrasil anchor in the, in the Yggdrasil anchor for, for team tournaments now? We'll see, man. Bam, 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 bam. And that's just still sitting. Is he taking a breather? Oh, War Champ in the chat. I see you. Yo, shout outs to OBS and shout outs to and, and look, War Champ, can I talk to you, bro? When are you gonna roll out a UI update for OBS, man? <laughs> come on, come on, bro. Be real. Be real. When's that when's that UI update come? Alright, they're keeping M Dash in. So he might be the first one to go. I don't why I, I don't know. Oh, man. I don't know why they're choosing to do this, but I mean, it's their decision, man. I would have just put in the lance. Maybe the lances aren't even comfortable. I, I mean, it was, it was close. This isn't. It, it feels a little greedy. It, it feels a little greedy, but we'll see. The thing is, this is a big win. This is a big win for the KOF team if they can make this happen. If M Dash is the one that can mm -hmm. take one life off of Mochi, let's see. Yeah, again, if you guys are just joining us or you didn't watch last week, Mochi was without a doubt the like the star. Of the Guilty Gear team, he took out all of the best players on the BB Tag player on uh, the BB, BB Tag team. One of the best fairies in the world. Yeah, he was definitely the MVP yeah. last week. And he's just getting started now, right? He's yeah. so far he's one and zero. Oh, wall bounce! Still oh, got his wall. He has his work cut out for him right now in this corner. That was Sama a M -dash huge gets one throw. drop. That was huge. that was like 60, 70 percent just drop by M Dash. Oh, now we got him. That's a win. Yeah, nice bait. <laughs> They're laughing that he did 2H. He baited the throw, but did 2H. But yeah, look at that. Boot, nice space. Those plus after that. Rope in, run this GG. Still plus friends there. And then just backs off. Yeah, just get back to my optimal range. You want to jump? I'm going to anti air, oh, but no. another counter hit boot. Good damage. A, sweep, doesn't even want it. ED, 60%. More damage off the late grab. Plus. <laughs> this is uh, a character that got nerfed, by the way. Mochi just chilling. He got meter, though. Oh, he's oh, dead. He's dead. He's, yeah, dead. he's dead. He's dead. Two hits. This is grand. This is grand blue fantasy. Two hits all takes to kill you. One boot, one 2L, you're dead. So Mochi losing his first life there. M Dash, all right. Yeah, M Dash with that bold decision to stay on after the loss. <laughs> Ends up working out here. So who can get over M Dash Grand to be able to try to make this a real thing? I'm thinking put put in Roy or Summit the, yeah, now. The, 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 now. The KOF team is already saying that, right? They're like, good luck against Zoe or or um, the Wayne. <laughs> Let us see. <laughs> last week too. I mean, last week we watched. Um, both Minami and Summit, Zoe play, and players still did not seem all yeah. too familiar with some of the setups it's and what her options week. were. At the yeah. timing that of her options, yeah. right? It's been a week, so maybe they have more experience, but they were definitely getting away with a lot of stuff. People weren't ready for. It. Let's well, see. Correct me if I'm wrong. It doesn't seem like that many people are playing her though. No. 
So I, th I think putting Summit here would be a really yeah. good... Yeah, I mean, just to test the water, just see. <laughs> see what he knows. <laughs> Roy might be running up, though, so there's Roy. He's been in the lobby the whole time. They might put him up now. Yeah, Roy's... All right, we got him. Obama's been talking smack the entire day. I'm not talking smack. I'm Roy. just... He said, just throw him out. Just get, get Luane out. He I'm can't like do anything. I'm like my grandpa watching an NFL game, right? I'm just like, I just don't understand the coaching. you like, dude, put Roy. What are you doing? This is why Roy's going to show. This is why they've been saving him. This he's is why been sitting there him. with his helmet on the whole damn time. Put him in the game, man. He's the water boy. <laughs> going to pray for a little power outage. Maybe some spikes in the uh, the Wi-Fi. He's Let's playing go. for McDonald's right now. Nah, ain't no blackouts here, man. Young money in the house. Let's damn. go, Lil Wayne. Roy's triple S1, huh? So he's, he's might be hit master zoom. He's been grinding. Weezy I feel like last week F he was baby. SSS5. <laughs> Please say the baby. Please say the baby. Look, come on, Roy. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the the rules this week are a little bit different, right? So not first to twos. Everyone has two lives. They can choose to stay on or go. Boot punish. There we go. <laughs> Right, everyone's, oh no, another punish! Da, da, da. And again, this is all bonus damage, right? So the match doesn't start till Yig is out. Well, if he wants to play the pyramid, oh, then try just to, to jump in, yeah. yeah. A little bit late. Robocad doing work, extending the, extending the pressure string. Just Punishes. slide and slide and slide. Yeah. See, that's the weakness. So he's gonna try and get the kill here, but that's the weakness of Wayne. Got him, that's it. That's game. Is that he doesn't have a real super, so any other character could have killed him off that corner combo, but he has to re yeah, he resets into what? More offensive sequences. Yeah. It's not guaranteed yep. damage. He doesn't do a lot of big damage on any one particular hit. He's guessing right here, doing a lot of good mixes. Baited again, man. Roy is in his head. But look, that character sucks. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the new change, his auto combo, right? It floats him up. He couldn't get the uh, the wall bounce off that. But despite that, yeah. okay, yeah, that, that's a good DP from M Dash. Run up low, yeah. doesn't take the confirmed damage, just runs up, just takes his throw. He's dead in a hit though, so again, yeah, that would have killed if it hit. Yeah. This wall scenario very okay. high risk for Roy. Runs up, takes his grab. Now Roy's turn. All right, here we go. Good luck. They're all laughing. Call your cousins. Laughing. Get the boys. Oh, we got him. We got him. <laughs> Faked him out. Boo. Still one touch away. Yep. Late tech. Chip. He's going to die to Chip, but no sweep in the super. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, he didn't oh! get him too far. He was too far. And Roy, he got one. He eliminated M Dash. M Dash is out now. This is why you can't write this character off. Right? Everyone always. Yes, he is weak on paper, but you can't. This is not a game where you can look at like a, the bottom tier character and be like, oh, I'm not going to worry about them. That's what they saved Roy for? M Dash eliminated. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, so, you know, yig, 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 but the, the human pyramid attack, too, right? He got both, he used it twice, both times he cracked him open. We yeah, saw first time he showed the high. Yeah. yeah, first time he showed the high, and then went low the last time. Yeah. You can react to all those options if you are in training mode, right? If When the guy is on training mode in uh, his basement, right? No pressure at all, and he dodges everything. He's like, look, it's not real, it's not real. But meanwhile, you're watching master rank players all over the place. He's getting tagged by this Dude, over they and over. Countered the, they countered Grand with Lil Wayne, man. Come on. <laughs> Who are they going to send up now? Uh, the thing is, nobody wants to fight. Even though he's like a, a weak character, nobody wants to, I don't know anybody who wants to fight I think Lil Wayne. You, what, what, do you, what do you think about Oz? Put... Put up, I mean, uh, I would just put up Go Show. Go Show? Go Show Rock? Just be like, oh, you guys fight it out. Man. Just send, send out, send the bubs. Just you guys fight it out. Send bubs. They can send Palm up, Narmaya. Yeah, you yeah. still need your. You, uh, they still have Dodge, they still have Mochi. Like if Oz goes up and loses, or if Oz goes up and wins, and then they send out Consummate to take him out, it's like, all right, hold on. We have one. Uh, we got one Lance against two fairies. Yeah, and even though right now it's Exert with 10 lives left. KOF with nine. To me, it still feels like KOF is in the lead. I don't feel that way. I feel that way. I, I'm still uh, I'm thinking because Omito looked so good earlier. Omito looked really, really good earlier. Omito looked good, yeah. but again, I, I just think if they still if they still have both lances on the table, I think I think KOF is is still big advantage. So they're thinking, no, nobody wants to fight Luane. <laughs> no one wants to be the one getting clown. It's not getting clown. It's not like a matter of pride. You know, the stream monster is always like, oh my god, you lost to Luane. It's not a matter of pride. It's real. People still lose to all of his, his gimmicks all the time. 
Especially on that play, too? Yep. Yeah, like, yeah, come on, man. Like, your, your, your game could just go south really, really quickly, right? All right, here we go. Ferry against the lane. Yeah, I guess there's no real point in saving your ferry. That's m much more important for the exit team to save their ferries. So for Roy, he's going to try to use boot to get in. Zoning not going to be as effective outside pressure strings. Let's see how let's see what he does in neutral to try to get through the the minefield and try to push butter towards the wall. This is what we saw before too, though. So like, okay, yeah, mash the okay. slide, get started. So that's his man. Okay, he's gonna roll, leverage slide, loses to the drill though. Go go, Robo Cat. Got him again, yeah. Just a beat Beppo preemptively, not even a reaction or anything. Just a good neutral poke. Just try to get some good jumps in. Butter back to the wall here. Got wow. him. Oh, on reaction. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's what everyone complains about. I, I I agree. I feel like it's kind of unfair. But you can react to uh, the Wayne's counter with oh, dodge. Or the fact EXTP. that he made the right call. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's just, tragic. just doesn't make sense. I, I don't understand why they made it like that. Even after the, the patches, they didn't change it. You see him using Robocat laser a lot more too. Full screen. Try to give himself an okay. opportunity to try nice to run jump in or in. jump. Bop, bop, bop to the wall. It's left, right. Woo, woo. Here we go. Good luck. It's not real. It can't hurt you. Hey, you lost. <laughs> it's not real. Louie can't hurt you. Good game there. And oh. Obama's sweating now. Is Roy putting the team on his back? I'm not sweating, man. I'm, just, I'm happy. Shit. Roy putting the team on his back. Let's go, Roy. Man. Bad jump here. Roy's making really good reads, though. Oh, but look at that. Yeah. perfect run under. I want to say that, too, right? Last week, I'm pretty sure Roy was SSS 5, and now he's 1. That means he's been grinding all week. So he's definitely warmed up. Fuji. Slide in the slide. Yeah, that's what I like, too. Run up now. He faked him up for the grab. He's getting mixed. Push towards the wall. Robocat. Off the overhead. Yep. Stays with this pressure here. We go. here. Good luck. Here it comes. He's three for three. Does he go low or high? High, high this time. Not, okay, yeah. Good read, good read, good read. Yeah, don't jump. It's like it's not over after one mix-up. Just killing his friends and sending him out there to die. Fujin is punished. Yep, got him. Roy now taking out two people. Jump, slide. Let's what go, happened? Roy. What happened? It's the bottom one. Right? Okay. It's okay. bottom one. So, you know what, man? All right, I'll, I'll hold this out. If this was the gameplay, Dash and butter. wait until you're 10 lives deep, then just play, then yeah, play Lil Wayne. Yeah, just wait until everyone's tired, man. What time is it? It's, it's 11 p.m. in Japan. You know, people getting sleepy, and now all of a sudden you have to just block for your life. Cash money never lost anything. In it. Come on, man. Stay undefeated. So that's kind of funny, too, is that the camera players are talking about. So Lil Wayne is uh, he's a rare character at the high level. There's not many, like, doors out here. Roy is out here. But they don't have that much experience against, you know, like world class Wayne players. He does have tricks. He's got tons of tricks. He's got tons of setups and everything, but you're not ready for everything. That's two. Who are they going to send up now? Who are they going to send up now? You can't sleep on the Wayne. That's what I'm saying. You cannot sleep on any character in this game. Even if, like, compared to the rest, they're weak. You can't sleep on them. And what I like, I like uh, some of the American players, the way they describe Lil Wayne. I was like, that's a good way to put it. He's not weak. He's just not stable. Right? Yeah, yeah. But I feel like that's a fair way. Like, the stuff he has is strong. It's just like he can't get it going like other characters well, can. Well, it's like even in this instance, right? We saw some, a couple cases where other characters would have guaranteed damage on certain situations, right? Yeah. His was not guaranteed. So, like, it looked good because Roy was right. Yeah. But that's not consistent. You know, that's not, like you said, stable. That's a, that's a, good, that's a good word to use. All right, they're putting Lagia now. So, yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, every matchup is good against the Wayne, right? Just pretty much any character is better than him on paper. So, we're going to go with just, you know, a nice stable cat here. Try and blow him up. But so far, nobody's been, he's four for four on Human Pyramid. Everyone's getting cracked open. No, there was one block. There was one block. The thing is that even the, the block, he jumped out. Yeah, he out, jumped right? he out and then hit. he got tagged. Yeah, you're right. He still took damage, yeah.
All right, so bring in Lagi. So Cat, we're gonna have Cat. Uh, <laughs> Roy took out two people. Okay, take out three. Catalina. Motivated Roy, man. You know, like, especially since, you know, arcades have been closed down. A lot of these players, like Roy, Summit, Mochi, these are guys that are every night at Mikado playing Guilty Gear when, they're, when they, they haven't had that ability to be able to go out there and play like that. It's not that strange to think that they've been grinding this game, especially looking forward to this 10 to 10. These are guys that show up in uh, show up in the business suits. You know, they go to work, get off work, and just grind. Score is 8 to 10, by the way. So Guilty Gear now. Hold on. I'm still not resting easy till these lances are out the picture. But here we go. Lagia. Young oh, Fina. Oh, he just kept swinging. He swing all day. Lagia's trying to dodge. Good at next level Yomi. Rook just pressing buttons. It's just 2M mash. Try to get rid of the Robocat. Counter 0 for 2. There we go. Nice space from Lagia. Yeah, just right outside of that, that dive. Yep, he knows. Yeah. He's like, yeah, just 2B. He's... Oh, here we go. This is not a setup. This is a raw dog. Didn't have him in the corner or anything. Okay. Lagia, though, not yet. Not stressing. Yeah, yeah. This is just to push him away. Got a little bit of chip. If he didn't do that, if he didn't do jump D, he could have got a punish right there. He's eating a lot oh, of 2Ms yeah. this round. He's yeah, finished. easy anti-air. Lagia with really strong yeah, advantage just here. Done, yeah, yeah, just crouch yeah. heavy anti-air. Yeah, so far we've seen, like, basically every match where it's just been slide, 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 just blowing people up. But of course... Lagia comes in yeah. here and he's like, all right, establish control. Yeah. Just 2B. <laughs> Like, your slide is not, look at me, your slide is not better than my 2B. Okay. DPs that time, ties it up. Willing to take that little bit of damage, and again, just 2B to slide. Oh, it's going to hurt. Oh, a little bit too early with the jump D. Couldn't get the combo after that, but now Roy's in trouble again. Like you said, the crouching M yeah. control here. Bye. Yeah, that's over. All right, good pick. So Roy losing a life, but he took out two. He eliminated two people. But there, yeah, you saw that's, that's the not good... Lewayne, that's the not stable. Just got bodied, right? So Trying to use the little 2D doesn't work. So against Lagia, do you put up Daiji? Just I, Samito, right? I feel like I just all out. Roy surprised people. Samito could do it too. Summit, Zoe against Cat. How do you think? What do you think about that? No, I, I, now that I think about, it, I think it's very good. I think it's very, very good. Just put put Zoe out because Zoe's weakness, the one weakness, of course, she doesn't have a DP. But against yeah. Cat, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Cat is not like going to be rushing you down like Charlotte would. You have two lives, just do it. And he plays Cat. Yeah, Summit Summit played Cat before this, right? He's got to be familiar, like probably a little bit more familiar with the ranges, where to stand and stuff. So Summit, I think, seems like the obvious pick here. Sheer good buttons. Yeah, in the end, they're queuing yeah. him up. Yeah, Summit versus Lagia. Let's see how comfortable Lagia is. Has he been grinding against this guy? Does he know the mix? Is Roy getting up? Roy, get out. He's salty. Roy pulling a banana can. Roy pulling a Lord Knight right now. Just one more. But he gets off here. All right, so Summit's going. The only player left that has two lives. Pulling a banana can? What do you mean by that? Banana can and... Is he hopping in the Yace Discord talking shit about people? Is that what he does? That's I, right, I guess that's what he does. All right. <laughs> the one more. One more. One more. You said one more 45 minutes ago. What the hell's going on? All right, so the first... And Summit has been grinding too. Okay. So Summit and Roy, I guess, this week have been on rank just trying to hit that master because they both were at five last week. Zoe, new character. Character that uh, currently ranked kind of low, but has a lot of potential, people feel like. But let's see how they've developed her in the past week. More importantly, how have the opponents learned to deal with her? Yeah, it's only been another week, but... Let's see if they learned. Wow, they learned to press one button to charge a dragon. Amazing. And that was, that was a move that really Minami showed up last yeah. week. Air lightning like that? Yeah. Such good, like, even just as a... Full screen like footsie's tool. So right there, the fact he charged at the start of the round means he's another laser, right? If you don't charge, your, your dragon dies after two. So some of you are recognizing that now. He's cornered, but again, don't worry about it. It's Cat. Her pressure's not that scary. And now we're playing that mid-range game. So Cat's got godlike buttons, but Zoe's got a nice 2B. Not as good as Cat's, but she can fight. Laser coming got interrupted, though. Summon now. Clash, clash, clash. Man, Lagi really likes the dodge option after the clash. Uh-oh. Oh, greedy. and tip range in the corner. Psh. And the third hit? No. 
Going to grab so summon now, back to yeah. the wall. Critical health. His dragon's dead though, right? Lightning is no, he's just gonna try and charge he's out of range, yeah. He's waiting, he wants his dragon back. Try and get a laser, dragon's back. So look, Loggy's watching. He wants his, oh! No. It might be too slow. Now he got him. Wow. Yeah. Dragon, the dragon set up, laser. yeah. Overhead, nice block, yep, from that oh, range. Oh, Summit! He just, ran, he just ran him staying out! Yeah, he got countered. I don't know what Loggy was doing. He's trying to press the button. It's not your turn. Charge that drag. Doesn't go for the follow-up yet. Doesn't want to try to take any gambles yet. Loggy check him with 2B, bring him to the corner. And nice mash out from Summit, right? That pressure's gone. You can mash now. Got him again. Just, that's the KOF class. Just roll mix-up. You hitting the KOF players with this shit? Play tech. Drop to combo. That could have been the round right there. That's minus. Good awareness from Loggy. Press the button. Oh my god, that move. So he's dead on one more hit. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, that's he's dead. Oh, what are you doing? What a drill. Uh, no. Oh, we didn't have the drill. On the same side, Summit yeah. gave it away. Yeah. Uh, Loggy didn't have the drill available. But he had a chance. Gave someone another one. He messed it up. So here we go. Final Both round. players, yeah. Very, very sloppy at the end of that last round. See who can rebound here. Lightning, max range heavy. Yeah, it doesn't get a punish after that. Crouch heavy? No, nothing after, yeah. Charge the dragon meter, though. Yeah, that's big. Yeah, even if it's not damage, right? Just potential. But not like this. Not if you're back into the corner against Cat like that. Minus 50% just like that off one touch. Gets the low. Lacky not able to confirm. Out of range of dragon lasers. Summon now pushing towards center stage. Gets the crouch light. All right, Dragon's dead now. Sandwich. Just take the throw. Yeah, Dragon's set up gone. For the grab. Yeah, it's like whatever. Late tech. Okay. Crouch heavy. Okay, got a shot here, Summit. going to spend this. Not going to kill. Going to bring it down to a pixel. He's going to get his Dragon back, too. Shing. Damn, that's a lot. He's going to try and chip now. One more, though. He's got the... Yeah, there we go. Wow. Summit chip yeah. over Lagia. Eliminating Lagia. So he had the air dive. He had the ground. So very, very, you know, scary situation there for Lagia. He's out. Seven and nine. Guilty Gear players continuing uh, to maintain the lead, but like you said, the two lances are still there. Summit is looking good, too. He's looking better than last week. You see some of the potential of the dragon mix-up, right? So he went for the overhead. Uh, Lagi did a good job blocking it, but then he tried pressing a button after. So even if you block your mix-ups, he's still plus. He snuck in a throw mix-up. He did a left-right mix-up right there. He's through all the playbook. So I'm thinking with the KOF team, if Lagi is gone, who do you put up against Zoe that you think does the best? What do you think about Palm Naramaya? Or do you put Go show up? Or just run the bubs, right? right? Just see what he can do? Or... Nah, I feel like Blubs will lose. I feel like Zoe can beat. You know, because he can't zone out. That dragon laser will just wipe out any zoning he tries to do. Well, I guess my... my th so you would, say, off, you, would, right? you would say your bubs, save your bubs for Consume? Like, what, when do you use him then? Against Roy? I have no idea, but they're choosing to send in Oz. Right? This is what I mentioned yeah. before. Zoe doesn't have a reversal, so she's weak to getting rushed down. Her, uh, her dragon setups too, you know... She's got ways to deal with Lance's teleport, but you have to be ready for him. Okay, so this isn't like all win conditions fulfilled for Exert, but if they can beat Oz and force it, the only Lance left is score with one life, that can work. But they got to be able to get over score. They got to get over get over Abao. But you got to if if Summit is able to beat Oz and still have one life left to give. Why is Summit still have <laughs> one star? I thought he had two. He, he he's on, he's on his second star. He still has one after anyway. Oh, he they, hasn't they, lost they, they just get it yeah, away yeah, they just, while they're they just in there. They just take it away. That doesn't make sense, though, because then they should take out Oz's star. Right? They're getting ahead of themselves. Set up, mid-screen, goes low. It's not going to throw that time. Okay. And then just run up EXTP, why not? It's safe, plus. <laughs> no one took a game off Summit. This is his first yeah, life. Yeah, I should have two stars there. Another Dragon grab. Flame, these grabs doing work yeah. this round. Overhead. Yeah, he wanted to try and get the tech there. Trying to earn that counter hit confirm. Yeah, Oz is still fine. Oz is down, but he's definitely not out. Especially cornered yeah. here. Okay, Crouch heavy, though. Down. Yeah, he's good. Summit, chip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, so Zoe is missing the DP. Uh, she struggles against getting rushed down, but, like, a good anti-air, good poke. And she has a really yeah. good anti-air button. Yeah, then, like yeah. that 2H she's got, like, and there, she got that, too. Nice bait. Oz, get out of here. Running in the lasers now. Oz looking a little shaky. 
Back to the wall. Yep. Teleport anti-air. And this is set up. Dragon laser. And where's the overhead? There it is. Nice sequence right here. Just take the first hit, Rekka. Punish? No. Couldn't oh. get it with the 2L from there. Trying to just catch him swinging with lasers there. Buying as much time as possible. EX Rek is pushed to the wall. Ah, it's here. Dropping the ice. Empty hey. low. So he doesn't have ice after this, so he's not going to get a real Oki situation here. Just try to go for the jump. Some dude not pressing a button. Crouch light oh, trying to buy him a little bit of space. He messed up. Oh my god. What's up? What are you doing? He didn't get punished though. Shout out to Grand Blue. But yeah, Oz had a big drop earlier. He thought he had the grill blade stocked up, but it was still on cooldown. Anyone's game here. Oh, dead. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Gorilla Blade, so good. <laughs> oh, oh, what? He messed up. Combo limit. He went too far. And two inches. Bro, Debbie Summit. What are you doing there? Oh. laughing at him. Bro, is this going to be the second week in a row? Are you kidding the me? The Guilty Gear team, the veterans. Oz is out now. Dude, they this lost is a JV Guilty Gear team, man. Y'all put Summit in here? Oh, my God. Oz, how could you let that happen? Talking about whatever uh, we were saying before, character love and stuff. Like, Samito picked Zoe up from bright and early. Yeah, he was, grinding, he, was, yeah. he was running Cat. Yeah. What, uh, legit committed to Cat yeah. up until the day Zoe came out. He's like, you know what? I'm on Zoe now. I like Zoe. So he's been playing her. He's been grinding. He's looking good. He looked like a lot better than last week. They lost Oz. But he had the winning combo. They dropped the ender. I think I didn't see if combo limit came up or he didn't do the second hit of 5H. When you hit, uh, this game's got a combo limit system, so you, that's how they prevent infinites. But on anti-airs, it's it's less. You can't get full combos of anti-air hits. So that Gorilla Blade, he caught him in the air, tried going for optimal stuff. I'm trying to see when they when this score going to step up. At what point does it become too out of control to where he's like, look, I got I, I to gotta step in. I got to step in and take control of this. Because when that happens, I think you, at that point you force it on Roy, Omito, Summit, Consume, or Teresa. Somebody has to step right, up and get over him. Palmer, okay. Okay, Palm step it up. So, Narmaya versus uh, Zoe. And again, this doesn't really matter. This is like, is not an up-close, in-your-face, rush-down character. So, if you're Zoe, you're like, yeah, let's go. This is fine. This is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Two stars on Summit, though. He's in there. He hasn't, he hasn't lost the game yet. And this is another matchup, right? This is like, Nermai's very good character, but Zoe's good too. And this is not one of her bad matchups. She can easily win this. Somebody looking clean too. He's got some more advanced setups that he was doing last week. All of his mix-ups are landing. He's doing a good job of maintaining the dragon too. I can't believe it took this long, but Japan finally waking up. So watch. Round start. Going to back away. Yeah, he's going to charge right away. See, it's fine. Dodge. Oh, unfortunate, though. Yeah, it actually yeah. forces the Narmaya player to have to, what, be a little bit more... They have to approach? Yeah, Narmaya just jailed right now. Look, that 2B from Zoe's really good. Anti-air is good. We saw that. Hey. EX Lightning. People are getting used to that, though. EX Lightning was blowing everybody up last week. It's close mash. And then, yeah, going to super. Just going to take this, because you do get a dragon set off this, so not really for the damage. Just set up, try and kill here. But even so, yeah. summit. Dragon's dead now. Got to get the mix. Oh! What? Oh. He's going to chip. He's chip. Yeah. Dive. with the chance dive. here. Takes the grab. Side switch. Yeah, just jump back. You had to. Just, if you're palm right there, you're about to die. You just got to take a big risk. He went for the grab. Summit, jump back. Summit, hold on. Bro, we had Roy take out two. Is Summit about to take out three? No. Okay, late tech. Again, here comes Palm pushing towards the wall. Mm -hmm. EX Lightning. I'm surprised. Oh, oh, it caught him. Wow. Yeah, that's not real, but, you know, just the big gamble, the first to one. Dodge, beta DB doesn't come out. Oh, wow. Nice. He's ready. Super. Cash out. Summon a dragon. Big return off yeah. of an anti air here. And he gets the positioning yeah. too. Laser. Dragon. Overhead was. Snuck no, he just runs up throw. Run up throws doing so much work. Throw back though. Palm's still in this though. We saw how much damage Narmar could do. That would have killed if it hit. No touch there from Summit. He's trying to chip now. He wants to chip. 
He can take two more hits. He's oh, dead. He's oh, dead. He's dead. Yeah. He's got him. He got him. Oh, he didn't get the uh, super sky bounce. Gonna get the animation here. I'm sorry. Oh, on the one pixel. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. So she doesn't have a DP, right? She's no super, no DP. So you have to hold that right there, right? There's no fear. Just run in there, go for your high. And again, right, that full screen punish here. Get that lightning out this time. Someone mashing a button. Dodge, no DP. Trying to bait that DP real hard. Palm not giving it to him. And here Trying it is. To hit touch. The mix starts now. Yeah, that, that's a good option. Good just jump. jump forward. If you don't go for the meeting, you can just jump out every time. Took some lightning on the way out, but here we go. Palm still in position here. 85%, 90%. Gage building. Has the corner. Summit. No Trying punish to poke his way out. Late tech. Super? Yeah, he went for grab. Wow. Oh, I don't think he's dead. No, that's there's still one more touch. Yeah, yeah. But Dragon's dead. He's gonna maybe just and try to Palm with the hundred meter yeah. too. Palm yeah. with the hundred gauge. Wouldn't Dragon's take much. Back. Yeah, he's just trying to chip him out now. Breath got him. Damn, summit. Taking out three? Let's go, Zoe. And you hear you know, the best part is like I don't know how much the chat can hear, but we're listening to the, the Japanese players in the Discord. They're sounding uh, a bit discouraged, man. They're all setting like the KO players like, uh, uh. They're starting to sweat a little bit. And nobody on the KO team has really did work. What score took out two people? It'd be two or three? Maybe three. I guess what I heard someone say earlier too was like they don't have a lot of experience against this character too. Zoe, yeah. 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 I mean, like you said, she's rare. I, I wasn't, I, I'm not sure who it was, but I have to imagine that even though it's only been like three weeks, right? That it's probably still a little bit of unfamiliarity there. And, and it's players of this level too, right? You go in the lobby and you can fight just random yeah, Zoe fans. That's the thing, but yeah. The high level players, not a lot of people are going after. And you said even before, like the the amount of Zoe's that we find online here is not very high anyway. Like it's not a yeah. large pool of players. For some reason, I don't know why. And then when yeah. you get to like master level, it's even smaller yeah. than that. So you, you don't have a lot of opportunities to get that experience. So who are they gonna go? Like now, look, they only have five players left. And Gosho plays Bubs, right? I, Ugisu went 0-1 earlier? I don't think he won a, I think a match. You, I think it, even now, man, like, you put in Ugisu, you, you save score for Anchor, I have to imagine, right? You, I say you put in Tarizo. Tarizo to bait out the mochi and the daiji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like oh god. Put in Tarizo or Uguisu, and then whoever extra if you win that, whoever extra puts in after that, you run Abao. Then thinking, ho hopefully Abao can make a run. You know. The thing is like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they, they really are saving, 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 saving. But that that's the difference. Is like the the players that we're kind of clowning on for eggs are just like oh Sumito and. Roy, Roy, like Roy, they're doing yeah. work. They both did a ton of work. Do you have to have faith in like your goal I shows? I wasn't clowning Summit. I was like, Roy, I was like, I don't know why you're saving Lil Wayne like that. But yeah, Gooey Sue's like the, the Exit team hasn't had their like, you know, their their assistants really helping out. All right, they're bringing in a Gooey Sue again. You got to remember Consume and Teresa still in the mix too. Yeah, you have a Grant. You have a Grant of Charlotte. This is this is looking very rough right Two now. Two fairies. Are you still feeling like uh, it's anyone's game? So they're putting in uh, Uguisu. Yeah, I feel I feel like Exit has this now. Like so, Jita ver Jita versus Zoe. Yeah. What do you think Jita stands in this match? Like I mean, uh, I feel like Jita's favor, but it's it's not. I don't know. I don't think it's a blow up or anything. I have to imagine when she hangs out yeah. in kind of the mid range, trying to counter poke a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they're both in the mid range. I mean, she has good pressure. Her run speed is very very fast too. Yeah. Like, you want to have a DP against this character, but... Her fireball really good, too. Someone can do this, though. He can definitely do it. There's no pressure on him, too, right? He has another life. Oh, he's already done work. Uguisu knows, like, he yeah, has to Yeah, he's still on his first right life. Yeah. That's the thing. is like, man, I, you know, I have to do this. We're my team. If I lose, like, we're down to four. In fact, that's something to think about. Even if he loses, right? With the way their character roster is yeah. and how many players they have... He could just sit down. Yeah, he could like, just stay. What? Let's just go. Run it back. I'll put both my lives on the line right now. Oh, red block. Yeah. Ugisu, okay, looking a little bit familiar. Looking like he knows the timing a little hurt. bit. Oh, I go for the easy option here. Mm-hmm. Dragon's dead, so goes for lightning. Yeah, not real. EXTP immediately. Same side here, Ugisu trying to push towards the wall. And here you said. Defensive situation up against the wall, up against Jita too. Jump back lightning. 
just to buy time for a dragon here, trying to be able to force her way out back to center stage. Putting in a fireball or two here. Ah, uh, lightning caught his barrier. Just barely clipped. Yeah. Tried to air grab, back throw, and now somebody's in trouble. He's got super. He's 0 for 2 on supers. So that's plus. No Crouch confirm him. on 2B. 2B again, right? That's a good button. KO players in the Discord are sounding defeated. They're like, oh, they sound like they're not confident. They're not cheering for their boy. EX Fireball pushing her all the way here. Hey, that was nice. The with jab, the fake, the throw, just went for the meaty 5B instead. Just like that, 50% health advantage for Uguisu. But again, Sandwich just jump, jump on the other side, EX Lightning. Bro, everybody's getting tagged by throw. Everybody's getting tagged by laser throw. He's hit land at least 10 times. Got him below, that's gonna be it, yep. Deadly Rave, as long as he doesn't drop this. Bop, bop, the easy. Bop, 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 okay. He said he was nervous, right? Yeah. People still drop it occasionally, yeah? He was like, man, I was nervous, I'm so glad I didn't drop that. Yeah. It's easy, but it's, it's still, you have to input everything, right? He's on his last life, you can tell he's feeling the pressure, though. Just hard commit the guard. Willing to just back himself into the wall like this against Summit. And there, that's that wreck I'm talking about. Just always do the wreck. Uh, hard knockdown. Why did he run? He might have messed up. Summit trying to charge, but puts his back to the wall here. Uguisu, okay, gets side switched. Lightning doesn't care. He's still swinging. Summit running into everything, just blocking with his face. Yeah, the lightning is not plus. It's just it leaves you in a good space where you can kind of. Whip it's hard, punish. yeah, where it's hard, yeah. right? But she just got godlike buttons. She doesn't care. She's gonna swing, and now you're in the blender. Dragon's dead on this. Oh! GP, he was ready too. Goes back in. In the side switch. Yeah, he didn't have the full combo ready. You see, the landed hit didn't get to confirm. No, 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 no. no that press a button. Dodge. Oh, oh let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Sami though. Bro, he's one for five, one for five on supers, and that was the one? Clash of To eliminate Uguisi? Oh, man. Hold on. Nine, four? Yeah, but yeah, they're scared now. Dude, I, I'm, is this going to be the second week in a row? Is this going to be the second week in a row? We came in here, turned the stream on, we're like, man, no way Guilty Gear wins this. No, ain't no way in hell they're winning. Last week, okay, cool, man. They got lucky. Whatever, cool, yeah. Mochi, all right, yeah, he did his thing. They're going to do this again? Are you serious? I'm happy, though. So last week I was a bit salty because, I mean, I'll admit it, I wasn't really impressed with a lot of the players. Mochi was a monster, but everyone else, I was like, these guys are looking like rusty. But they definitely grinded. Since last week, they must have all been like, oh, let's play, let's play, let's play, let's get ready for next week, let's get ready for next week. Everyone's doing work on their team. Everyone's looking sharp. Shit, even Taco and uh, Churata. Yeah, even though they're out, they did work. They yeah. did work, yeah. And they barely lost, too, right? They barely lost to score. GG stands for Gimmick Gods. I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one. All right, who, did, who they who Stands they for Good Game. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's, Gimmick Gods doesn't, is not it. There's no gimmicks. There's no gimmicks this with, is, this uh, is, yeah, this is with clean. Zoe. Zoe is just, yeah. All right, they're sending Gosha. This is like, you know, the Hail Mary. Like, God, I hope Buffs can do something. Just toss him in there. And even this, I don't agree with this. I think they should say Gosho maybe for... You have to play a strong player right here to take Summit off. Mm -hmm. And then you run Gosho to counter whoever comes up after. Because they, can, they can't let Tarzo score and about those three alone try to just leverage them to run the whole team. They can't do that. I don't, I don't, I don't like. I don't think this is a good pick for uh, for KOL. I don't know. Well, the thing is, so the the one thing about the KO team and the score is Tadezo plays Percival, right? So Percival loses to Fairy. Sure. So we know that Score plays Lance. Lance doesn't lose anybody. Abao plays um, Cat. Yes. Cat also again, you know, does maybe struggles a little bit, but Gosho is. Th they're gonna throw him out here as a wild card, and then they're gonna rely on just like, all right, we got three very very strong characters, three strong players. It's not that unlikely, but they're definitely behind right now. I, th it's not a bad idea. I get, I think to use them against Zoe, but I would have saved them maybe for against like if they put Roy in again. You know, if you have, if you're playing if you're playing the win, mm. you have to imagine you have to get through Roy at some point. You have to get through save him for one of those other characters maybe, but we'll see how Ogosho does here. Summit's on what three? He's won three. He's won three, but yeah. he's 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 still on his first life. Yeah, Roy. Took he still out has a life to give. Summoner took out three. That's punished. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice from Gosho. Maybe this was a good pick. Okay. Yeah, get out of here with that. That's not real. Show yet. Right off the bat. Solid reads. Solid anti-airs. 
Uh, that's why uh, people are dodging, but they're pressing buttons after the laser. I don't know what that is. And Summon just taking... Got a charge. I like it. Protect the dragon. If he, they're going to give him the grab on dragon lasers, he's, he's willing to take it. He's shown it like three or four games in a row. Like you said, throw doing so much work throughout this set. Yeah, charge, charge, charge. She can just use that invincible to go right wow. through it. And the stand heavy Rekka. Lasers incoming, but EX Dive able to get out of range. Yeah, this matchup is rough because uh, Bubs is so slow. He can't really stop her from just charging up. He does have yeah, movement options dead. to be able you're to try dead. to get out of some of those you're ranges. Dead. But man, Summit, quick confirming a super. That's a power dragon laser. If you block it, it doesn't, like, she was full screen. As soon as he blocked that laser, it's like, okay, I'm in now. I'm in. Your zoning game is over. Samito doing work. One round away from taking out another member. If he takes out Gosha, that'll help the most wins for the team, right? Four? Yeah, I think, yeah, he'll be, he'll be MVP he'll be today. MVP. <laughs> Fuck, it's NBA All-Star Weekend. <laughs> We're just looking at the, who's MVP you're, this you're weekend. MVP now. Let's go. Jump back, lightning, and Ogosho is just really just trying to, what, leverage projectiles to be able to try to maintain some kind of yeah. control. I mean, this is, this is what we've been saying. Like, yeah. nobody really understands what is what is Bub supposed to do. Like, it's, what is his game plan It just right feels now? low return, yeah. whatever he's doing. It's like, it doesn't what? feel very uh, rewarding. He's like, I can throw some fireballs, I guess, but it's nothing really scary. Zoe obviously trying to charge a dragon, get the mix going. Okay, finds the low in the corner, oh, though. Red block, pressure's over. Summit was blocking, maybe expecting the Hail Mary DP did not come out. And there, there's the DP now. <laughs> Gosho laming him out slowly but surely. Held on to it. Charging dragon. Got him. It's going to connect. Yeah. Boom. KOF team oh, being like, yeah, you're, you're okay. You're okay. right there, but he was whiffing already. No touch. Yeah, so ready? You're going to do lightning. One chance dragon. here. Good luck. Over at block. Not over yet. Tagged him back. Oh, from Gosho, oh, get the grab. <laughs> He just dashed in there and threw him. Now Summit eliminating four players on that team. God Summit. Damn. Oh, man. Don't do this two weeks in a row, bro. Don't do this two weeks in a row. All you – I, dude, I didn't think they were going to do it like that. I didn't think this would be this close. I didn't think this would be this close. But Summit's still on his first life. And it's not gimmicks. He's not. No, he's, he's out playing. Yeah, he's playing well. He's out playing. It's not like last week we saw character familiarity. He's not getting away with murder. He's doing real stuff now. Gosho eliminated. Oz eliminated. Uguisu eliminated. Butter eliminated. Palmer eliminated. Lagi eliminated. M Dash eliminated. Like you said, up the, to three. The cool thing about this too is every week it's yeah. been somebody different that stepped up. <laughs> now, Samita, what do you do? I say just stay on, right? If he if he loses somebody, just stay on. Like screw it, I'll play. Yeah, you have. I, I did my work. Let me just run it again. Yeah, just run it. Let me run it again. <laughs> Tari, they, you have to mention they run Tariso Abao and score in that order, right? Tariso goes up. Yeah, just run it, run it back to back. They just asked her like Tariso, how how do like how do you do in the Zoe matchup? He just laughed. He's like, uh, Zoe, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know this character. It might have been him I was hearing earlier. They were like, uh, they were talking about about Summit. And they're like, how do you feel? And they were like, I don't have any experience. So this is the beauty of team tournaments in general. This is what something Japanese players always talk about when they love team tournaments. Because look at the KOF team. It's kind of, you know, let's just throw all the top tiers in there. Just put them in together. But there are characters that, like Luane too. Luane is a good character in a team tournament. Grapplers, even though a lot of characters very, very strong. that struggle in singles, singles yeah. format, where they, you know, there's maybe some polarizing matchups mm -hmm. that are common that you would run into to where you, you know, you want to think about like a character like some grapplers in yeah. some in some of these kinds of Arc System Works games, right? It's difficult for them to make a singles bracket run because you run into some polarizing matchups along the way that are common, but. In the team format, that becomes an, a, an yeah. instrument, like an important card that you can play. You know, like, hey, uh, you, you guys want to just auto run top tiers. We have this character who, on first to one format, especially something like this, dude, you get some momentum. Yeah. They can and they can just sit down and get hot. Yeah, first to one. Oh, you have experience. You haven't fought this guy in a while, huh? You've been training with all the other top tiers there. So yeah, whoever they're sending in, I didn't see it, but whoever they're sending, it did not sound. Very, very confident at all. It sounded like he was going to his death. It's Tarezo. Feels yeah, like they, he's getting sent into his the, doom. You, you don't even have to guess the lineup anymore. It's Tare, it's yeah. Tarezo Abao score. They're going to they're gonna run score anchor. So Tarezo, if he does beat Summit, though, and if they want to change, you know, they can just toss in a, 
a fairy to just wipe him out? My thing, Giuna, is it if I don't, I'm not, I don't want to speak too soon. Again, score anchor. Um, I'm not downplaying that. If Gigi wins this, who do you send them next? They've already, but they already clapped BB tags cheeks. They're about to be KOF. Who do you send them next? Uh, you could do a Sam show team, but I think a lot of the KOF players could claim Sam. They could, you know, you were angry at the BB tag team. Sam could probably do that. Yeah, I, that's like, same. That's we same. claim Kazunoko like he's on. He's a Sam show player. I think we. I think it's time, man. I think we got to send up the them's fighting herds team. I think that's the only way. TFH. TFA, send them fighting hers. Them fighting hers versus Guilty Gear. Let's run it. But yeah, the cool thing about uh, this game is that even without the offline scene, there are so many people playing this game. So they could easily find another scene. There's so many players to pick from. They could easily find another 10. Good challenge on a fireball right off the bat. Dodge, but that's something hard about Percy's DPs is a lot of different, uh, you know, he's got the light one, he's got the medium, got the heavy, all different timing. So he tried to dodge the light, he got hit by the medium. Combo, yup. See, that's a punish. First time yeah. we've seen someone punish Summit Tilf going for the big wrist there. See those stocks coming into play, too. Yeah. Increasing he backed the off. reward. I don't know why he backed off. Right? So it doesn't have a DP. Over cracked. Jumping away again, right? Choosing not to pressure Zoe. Caught. That was really nice. Somebody knew he was going to jump back there. I got to steal that. Got him. He's dead. Walk up low touch. Oh, no. He burnt his, he burnt his, uh, his cooldowns. Didn't have it. Lightning DP again. Tarzo had the touch. Dead, Crouch dead. heavy. Here we Some go. Some of those anti have been ridiculous. He's been very yeah. consistent. He just knows. He's just holding down back. Like, oh, I know you're going to jump now. Air to air. Just get the combo after that. And look at that. Zoe doesn't have a true DP, but when she's charging out of the stance, she does have access to reversal like that. Baited Tarzo into trying to punish and punish him for trying. Sweep slide. Slowly push him in the corner. Dragon's low. Going to try and charge up a little bit. No, he's killing the dragon. She'll come back, but for a little bit. Gonna have to fight without her. No, yeah. Oh my god, what are you press a button for? The jump bell, you know, the safe jump doesn't even need it. She doesn't even DP, but you plus after that anyway. Nice, good jump back. Yeah, jump back air to air. Tarizo holding the corner here. Mm -hmm. Summon got dragon. Now, whenever he wants to get out, if you just summon that dragon, he's out. Okay, and he bought himself here some comes. time here. Here he comes. Which way is he going? God. Overhead. Super just cashing out. I'm going to get the Dragon Summon after this. Push it to the corner. Oh, he got the animation. Okay. I thought he was too far. Okay, still next touch wins. Lasers, lasers. And the grab summit. Bruh. Oh, man. <laughs> Go, man. The little <laughs> shimmy grab there. Summit to it, what, six now? Five, six? It doesn't matter. He's MVP. He's MVP. You can't you can't take it away from him. Zoe? Nobody, Nobody can beat his streak yet. Yeah, it's impossible now, uh, unless score goes all in, wipes the team out, but I, the thing about wiping the team out is not beating one person. It's not You're going to have to beat, look at this, you got to fight an Armaya, you got to fight a Charlotte, you've got to fight, yeah, you yeah, fight, the, whole, you gotta fight yeah. the whole roster pretty much, you know? That's really, really hard. You get used to fighting one style and then you swap, so that's why Team Tournament is hard, people don't streak that and the much. And Summit's still on his first life? Yeah. And you got to think of the mental pressure too, right? This is what happens anytime you're in a long set like this, so... From a couple characters ago, you know, KO is already feeling defeated. Some of you are probably feeling like gold right yeah, now. Yeah, I, I would tell you for sure now at this point, especially, I'm thinking if about yeah. if about wins this, Summit stays that yeah. stays he stays for free. Yeah, like just, it's yeah, not. It's, I'm hot. Just he, let me keep going. No reason. Just let me keep going right now. No reason to change. No reason to change. If if about is able to win this, no reason to change there. Put I mean, I would say put Kako next. You know. Put Kako next, just yeah. let, yeah, see what a he bow. can do. A bow is going up. Yeah, you can expect, uh, at the start of the stream, I was talking about how KOF players like running the first to 50 sets. You can expect there's going to be a lot of Zoe first to 50s happening next uh, yeah, week. Yeah, next week, yeah. They're <laughs> like, uh, please, can we run some Zoe first to 50s? We need to learn how to fight this character. I'm thinking, yeah, worst case scenario, a bow wins here. Summit stays. You still have to go through. They would put up Roy, Kako. Or probably they would probably put one of the fairies up. I actually. mean, I don't even think about going. I think about going to lose. We'll see, man. Hey, you hear the chat? <laughs> yeah, you hear? You hear the chat? They're like, "That's the most depressing." Like, just good luck. They're, they're like, that was the most self-defeated yeah. gum gum good, good luck. Like they they already gave up. They gave up. There's no like, come on, let's go. We can do this. These guys are are shit. And they were the favorites, yeah. man, by far. I, I I did not think GG would would do this two weeks in a row.
There's something nice. about this game, man. Defying expectations every time. Overhead, yeah, overhead off the laser. Yeah. Dive kick ender. We're going to push you to the wall. Bow. Looking stressed out right now. Eight. You better stay on this plane, baby. Yeah. Lightning making it rain. To the late tech, you still take damage. That's plus. Die punch. Damn, Crowd's heavy. You I saw him. Yeah, you bruh, saw him. Everybody watching the stream, yeah. you knew that shit was yeah. coming 30 seconds before he was it happened. Just sitting down, looking up, like, I see. Hold on, guy, press the button. Yo, Summit is looking clean right now. Not like this. And you get yeah, the other hard knockdown. He's the mix. Lasers roll through. Look at my man rolling on these KOF players. My man rolling. Dragon's dead, but still. Like a river. Let's go. Push him to the wall. Just chill. Summit just chill. Char yeah, charging yeah. meter. Just wait, wait, wait for that dragon to come back. He's got the life lead. No need to do anything now. If you're going to give me the space, I'm going to give you that charge. Lightning I'm charge. Make it rain. Yep, full dragon. A bow's out. A bow's done. Mentally charged. Yeah. yeah, just send the dragons. Khaleesi. Got. Oh, no. Didn't get it, but still in a great. That's a punish. He's dead. One, two, three. Yo, Summit is on one right now. Yeah, yeah. Summit's this, on one. This is done. Good luck, score. Score got to take out nine I, people. I mean, I mean, score, I still I still feel like score could do it. Nah. But I'm thinking, but with the way this is gone, I don't think he will. If he had two lives, maybe I could see it. But yeah. one life, like, the pressure is too much. This, this would be, like, the greatest comeback I could think of if he did this right now. Like, and the thing, again, like you said, it's not just one player it's not one character you've got to fight all these different it's a matchups. roster and yeah. it's a lot of different styles too he's got the character to do it lance doesn't really have any crazy like you bad matchups he beats some of these characters but pretty look, free. But, but put some respect on it too man that's the old man from osaka right you've been saying it 50 first of 50 yeah. sets on that play non-stop you gotta imagine he has the experience to be able to try to make a run like this if he wanted to but man it just feels like it's mounting against him right now and again, you know, we always talk about first to one is different from first to two, which is different from first to three, from first to 50. There's different skills. There's different mindsets and stuff. When you play a first to 50, you're not worried. You're like, oh, you know what? I lost that game. Yo, it's okay. I would, I would mind crush him. If Summit loses here, put Kako in and then put Summit again <laughs> right after, right after. Just be like, just, like, just got to go through all of us. Yeah, all these weird characters first. Good luck, score. The defeated Discord right now. Guilty Gear upset the BB tag Dude, they team. were so talkative before. Yeah. What happened? Upsetting the KOF team. I haven't seen some of these little Discord bubbles light up in, yeah. in like an hour. Yeah, they had all, they had all like master ranks and everything, right? Just master ranks, master ranks. Just grinding, grinding, grinding. You, that's very confident. It gives you confidence when you know you play a game more than someone else. You're like, I've put in more time than these guys, You know what? Right? Maybe it, maybe, th maybe it's me, man. Maybe things would have gone a little bit differently if they would have got Hell Pockets on here yelling at the top of his lungs. I gotta take a shift. Yeah, taking, taking, <laughs> taking shift breaks in the middle of the shift and everything. You know, maybe, maybe things would have been different. But here we go, score. You got the team on the back. We all knew you were the captain. We knew you were going to be the MVP. Uh, he won three earlier, right? Yeah. So he, he had a good start, but his team but, couldn't carry. But the thing is, on the other yeah. side, look at who he's fighting. Punish. Summit doubled his carry load. Could it? But this is supposed to be a bad matchup, but Oz lost, right? Oz got beat. Loading, loading, not like this, not like this. All right, we're back, baby. Oh, oh. whipping those L's! <laughs> he matched three. Lasers? Summon with the push to the wall, making it rain. Clash, clash, clash! Dodge, nice got dodge, yeah. Right there. No doubt a lot. No, no, no. Lottie's no, no. book. Oh, but he got greedy. <laughs> Score forgot which game we were playing. You can't get that close heavy punish. And TK Lightning at close range like that? Just be able to buy himself the space there. Good challenge from Summit. Going to get the knockdown in the mix. Got him. He's burning super early. Couldn't get the kill right there. Gorilla Blade. Oh, he's, it's going to hurt. Yeah. It's going to hurt a lot. Still one more chance though, right? Yeah. Gonna right? Be alive with a pixel, yeah. Ching. All right, so summit. he wants EX Ice, Rekka. So next one is Chip. Yeah, yeah. there. that's a Chip right there. There's nothing. That's actually checkmate. She's nothing that can interrupt that right there. So Score because, got yeah, one. Because she has no reverse yeah. one and Super was gone as well, so right? So just delayed the Rekka. Tobe. Oh. oh, was looking for the cross under. Score. Allen Iverson okay. crossing him over. Yeah. Comes up high that time. Now, this is, this is a Lance round. So again, she has no DP. So he's get a free mix after this. Yeah, just eats it. All right, all right. So somebody is going to lose a life yeah, here. But just, yep. Yeah. Grab. Maybe put in Kako. Yeah, for Kako, sorry. Chip. Yeah, Chip. Yeah. Yeah. Check, man, so again. if I'm GG, put Kako in. Put Kako yeah. in, and then immediately after Kako loses, if he loses, yeah. put Summit yeah, back yeah. in. Summit bouncing a little bit. Give him a rebound. Yeah, yeah. 
He was hot, but he got washed. Just, you know, just take a breather. Just kind of ice score down a little bit. But yeah, that round right there, that, that's just... Lancelot's that kind of character. It's like when he gets started, it doesn't matter who he's fighting against, right? Just the corner blender is still very, very real. The 5M is gone, but, you know, uh, the group we saw Gorilla Blade and Eureka in the ice and his jump, blah, 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 that loop. So someone's going out. Who are they going to put in? Eight. He's got... Eight different people. Teresa, Charlotta, Consume, Gran, Omito. Oh, they're putting in Teresa. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like this. I, I tell you, I think Charlotta beats Lance. I think she did before and she does now too. So before, um, <laughs> was it? Lance's projectiles are really, really powerful tools. In neutral for him to get in. She our one button parry. We'll just shut that down right there. Uh, she got the godlike DPs. They can punish all of his stuff right there. Let's see. Teresa also... The mascot, they called him like the mascot of the team. I think he was the one that helped put it together, but he's going to try and close out right now on score. Good luck, score. What did I stop? I stopped at Omito, right? Omito, uh, Narmaya, Mochi, Ferry. Samito, we just saw go out, but he's still in there with Zoe. Daiji, another Ferry. Kako with the bubs, and then Roy with the. I hope everyone loses, and then Roy's the anchor. Nah, man. The anchor. I, I, hope listen, that's what I hope we see a re. I want a Congo remake right now. I want Teresa beating his chest. Score, I want him looking like Tim Curry after he touched the diamonds. I want all the gorillas, all the silverbacks watching online. Start pounding your chest. Let's get ready to mess this dude oh, up. Nice. Empty touch low. Yeah. Score, push it towards the wall. Jumping from Teresa, yeah. side switch. Plus, putting hands on him. Plus, chip. Yeah, had the wall jump. They're trying to go for the big damage combo. It's a little bit too high. Shella also, I forgot, Shella also has a weird uh, hurt box, so a lot of Lance's juggle combos don't work on her. A score with good advantage this round so far. Other side this time. And Teresa just willing to jump back into the corner every time. Oh. Flash kick a little bit late that time. One hit. One yeah, touch super. Close. Yeah. So this is low damage, so she's going to survive, I think. Yeah. But Teresa in a lot of trouble. Chip is also a very big fact. Doesn't even need to run up air grab. All right. All right, score. You know, he's definitely has a lot of pressure. On his back, but he's playing well. Okay, block a ball this time. The Kev players are laughing. That, like, wow, you air through a Guilty Gear player. <laughs> <laughs> wall jump, man. Wall that jump, still yeah. cheap. It's, been, it's worked out so well, this entire exhibition so far. So he, many instances where yeah. characters have really, like, it seems like they have control, and they're just yeah. not prepared for the wall jump. I mean, you, you can't be it's fast. It's so it's fast. fast. Yeah. yeah, even if you look out for it, you can't. Trace jumping. Going to maybe try an EX demon flip out of here. Punish, yeah. He got greedy. Tried going for the slide punish, but it's not guaranteed from all ranges. Then we're even on health. Oh, tried the falling Ellet. Air, grab Air again. throw again. Score. Back throw. <laughs> Teresa chilling, though. Ooh, oh, no super, though. Bobby with a super. No, he's safe. He's safe. He's safe. He's safe. Yeah, just get out. Damn, Teresa had the whiff punish. A little bit too slow. Another big whiff. Teresa, no punishes. And then score just mashing, right? Far L. All right, that's two. All right. He so, took out two. He took so, out two. So score got the laser gun. Okay. He took care of the gorillas. Yeah, we good. We good. We good. Took out two. He got away in the hot air balloon, but you still get. You still got seven more dudes to run through. So Teresa that is eliminated, right? So Samuto lost, but he's still in. Teresa now is eliminated. Uh, Omito is the one who beat him earlier too. Omito beat him bad, actually. <laughs> but you still, you have so many, like I was, like you were saying, just put in Kako, you know, just put, burn, burn some people, just burn some of your roster. I, my thing is or more about, try and, my, thing try is, out now. my thing is more about keeping him off balance, right? Like, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. Throw somebody in and then bring back Subit or something like that. Then put in Roy or some, you know, like that, just mixing with the with the roster and the character selection you have so far. Somebody to go wash, though. Oh, if Roy's looking at the cab. Is that gonna be the hero? Well, the thing is, there's only there's only one more player left, right? Like, even if he got washed, shit, give, give him a second chance. You know, just run him, just run it. You don't want him to get hot, but you also want to try to keep, throw him off balance a little bit, so that then when you finally throw in a, a mochi or well, I I don't I think mochi would be worst case scenario. You don't want to put him in, yeah. But what oh, mochi or daiji for that matter? But you still have omito. You still have. Hell, even consume. I don't, I, don't, well, I don't think I'd be consume. Well, here comes Mochi. They're putting in Mochi. All right. The MVP of last week, you know, he's still a beast. This is a bad matchup for Fairy, but she's quite strong. She can win. And, you know, this is uh, – they had all these people to choose from, and they chose Mochi. So this is definitely – Mochi must feel comfortable. They must know something that we don't. Maybe they fought in a, a set before. Maybe Mochi might have handled him. Perhaps. This is, like you said, one of her tougher matchups. 
This character, not only yeah. can he... The, it's, it's two points, right? Mm -hmm. His ability to swarm, get in close, harass her. And like you said, since uh, Stan L is only one attack, he doesn't have a far version. He can just automatically Q auto combo at ranges where maybe uh, it would have inter weird interactions with her close out. The but then the thing yeah. is his movement. Yeah, yeah. He's the cold screen is his jungle gym essentially. He can just go wherever the hell he wants. He can we can change from a rush down to a runaway character. Yeah. Like just a So for a lot of characters switch. you put GG out there, they maybe it maybe forces some interaction from them. With Lance, it's not necessarily the case, right? He can choose to. You heard score though, so he said right when they put in Bochi, he said first to one. So like Fairy is so strong, like she does have the scariest uh, setups in the game, but it's Fairy. Yeah, so her, you know, if she does get the knockdown, she does get the GG. Like you're just holding the, the mix-ups here. So they're like in a first to one. Like, can you really block everything from her? Yeah, he's in the air dives here. Get under in there, counter hit, easy confirm. <laughs> Good start. This is what score wants this round to be like. Yeah. And and just don't yeah. change from this. Don't let her out. She's out, but again, just staying on top. Okay, oh, got the cross up. Swarm. This is what we're talking about. This is the, the fatal flaw of this character. Especially with the slower DP. They adjusted uh -oh. the clash frames on that sweep. Uh oh, you no, messed no, it up no, again. No, no, not, that 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 up. not that easy, not that easy. Come but beat Beppo. Alright, GG yeah. in the install. Slap the Come the moon. Yep, dead. And the this overhand. Let's go, overhead. Moji. Oh, we didn't have the EX ready to go, but chipping him out. Yeah, EX pin will. Oh, the jump heavy just. Oh, my God. And the low touch. Mochi. Match. Point. Tournament point right now. You just saw, right? Score was on top of her the whole time. She got out once, got started, and then Ferry. Why does she. Why you give Dowson? Get agent. Like, who thought of that? That's it's sick. What? It's sick. <laughs> okay, jumping out of there. Doesn't want to do the overhead. He's close anti-air here. Score Beppo, get getting DP through a string. Mochi stepping up once again. For this to even be close, mm. sweep. Corner, but again, we've seen him just get out of this time and time again. Yeah, and that's a 2D, Counting right? Sweep, so you trade, yeah. you trade, doesn't matter. Oh, no, it's going to hurt. They, oh, he might be dead. EX? Maybe? Super, no, he's going to be alive with a pixel, but look at this damage. Bop. Look at this damage off EX DP. That's ah. a risk, though, right? That's a risk from score. Yeah, Shit damage, yeah. yeah. The last one. No, she could have made the DP. Counter hit at the end, yeah. Not sure what he's going for, but yeah, just bet it. So score staying alive, but again, off an EX DP. He got lucky with that. Not lucky, but he took a big risk. It paid off. You got to be sweating. Imagine if you're score right now. Just sweating. Getting pushed to the brink by, by yeah. one of your worst matchups. One of your best. Yeah, with punish. Nice. He wants that DP. Yeah, and again, that just that subtle push to the wall, right? Now again, same situation. Okay. It's round one. Mochi back to the wall here. Late tech. Just gonna hold these records. Trying to push out a little bit with this L auto combo. Ooh, what, okay. a, what an anti-air. And he got that full combo off that. Oh, the this could be the reversal of fortune he needs. Hold on. And the sweep ender. GG. Oh, not again. Slap the corn the Oh no, he oh, got it. Shit. They were like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Empty, empty jump low, yeah. score now in position to be able to take it. One touch away. Yep, and then the class yeah. strike a one into the grab. It's so fast. All right. He took out Mochi, but that was close. If you're scored, oh, oh man. That's three. So that's... You beat their anchor, but you were supposed to do that is the yeah. thing. Like, that was expected. I, I'm, I don't, uh, was, don't know if this anchor. That was just the MVP last week, right? This week, everyone is so, like, Omido. Omido beat him bad earlier. They might be saving Omido. I'm, dude, I'm saying. Consume, like a grand play, you can never count out. Grand, he can kill you in two hits. All right, so, so, okay, so you're the coach here, right? You're the coach here. Which do you value more in a team scenario like this? Do you want to chance the other guy getting hot? Or do you want to just, do you want to? No, I want to wear him down. I would definitely, unless unless I had a player who's like, put me in, put me in, put me in, put me in. But you got to remember, this is score. He runs yeah. first to 50s on a regular. This but it's all different, right? First to 50 against one player, one I character. I don't know, man. I'm thinking put this away. Put, like, put, put in put, Kako put, now. I'm thinking put in somebody who could just. <laughs> I think that was Mochi. I think they thought Mochi was going to take him out. They're putting in Kako now. All, get, all I'm saying is save Roy for if it goes down. Roy is the last. He's the final, the final hope. You go, so what, you, you would go. What, <laughs> give me your order right here. You would go Kako. I have I have out of the people over there. I have Omido beating him and Consume. Nah, Consume probably lose, but Consume is very scary to fight. You never are, feel good against a grand player, but I think Omido can take him. 
They play together, right? He handled him before. He looked really comfortable, play, too. I th I'm thinking Roy Anchor. No, I'm saving Roy. No matter what, for the sake of <laughs> sake of the stream, I bet Roy, you're last up. Have the Wayne close out the yeah. show? All right, cool, cool, cool. Sorry, score versus Kako. Bubs? Bubs against Lay. I don't think I've ever even seen this matchup. Bad, it's another bad matchup. It's the same thing, idea with Ferry, right? Bubs is a weird, like, zoner type character. So he, he just, just works with Ferry. Yeah, yeah Lance is just in now. Clash, clash, clash in the dodge oh, again. Then we saw that. That's like, I feel like it's the fourth time we've seen yeah. that exact same interaction. But this time it was this Score who got hit by it. Last yeah. time he dodged and got the punish. This time Kako's using Kako it. Kako just running grabs here. Yeah. Dude, grab to and work this round. And DP, yeah, look, he's playing Bubs so in aggressively. In the black right? hole? Yeah. Yo, Kako! Boom. Just very, 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 like, you can't play Bubs' game plan against Lance. So he's just going in. Just dashing forward and grabbing. And we were just having this conversation yeah. about team format, how different it how different it is from a singles kind of kind of format in that characters like this that you don't see very often in top eights or yeah. in, in grand finals. Down the DP. It's not just characters. It's the way Kako's playing is making me angry. Mm. But he's playing to win a first to one. My man is playing to win a first to one Because right all he needs yeah, is a first exactly. to one to win. Yeah. DP, DP, just run up, grab, 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 grab. Like yeah, dive. Crazy. And you see him trying to yeah. walk under the teleport attempt. DP, DP again. again. Get out of here. Jump over the ice right in the cock, right in the scores grab. Oh, God. Right into his grass, though, to the wall, black hole. Yeah, score is behind. Jump back. Score is about to lose. Next hit in the Super Bowl kill. Teleport went oh, low. Double O touch. Oh, man. Kaku got DP again, right? Oh, go. Jump D. Very hard to anti score. Didn't want to challenge. And just jump back. EX dive. Yep. That's. Wave punish. Here we go. One of his go to neutral. No, 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 not no, no. no. He oh, did it. Kaku! What is going on? Guilty Gear is the best game <laughs> ever created. Please fall back. Somebody clip that and tweet that to Hell Pockets. What the hell did he just do right there? I have no idea. We got to punish. I don't know if he punished the air attack. Or hey, hey y'all mind if we take a break real quick? <laughs> Yo, can we take a break real quick? I need, I need 45 minutes in the bathroom after I show up 45 minutes late for the shift. Sweating. Guilty Gear team beating the BB tag. Upset. Beating the KOF team. Upset. Who's next? You know, maybe. Who's next? Yeah, you know, maybe this is a my fault, man. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe it's me. I apologize. Look. I want to apologize to all the KOF players. Y I, I mean, I shit, I play KOF, but I, I want to. I want to. I gotta humbly apologize to the KOF, uh, the vets, the community, the community, right? Bro, this is this is depressing though, because we we we're in the KOF Discord chat. These oh, guys, man. these guys <laughs> definitely came up tonight. They had the champagne ready to go. They thought they're gonna win. Their voices right now. We're hearing them. It's all very very quiet. Very very defeated. Guilty Gear, they must be going crazy. Hell Pockets in a in a hot tub right now, IRL streaming. He's like he's got the champagne. Yeah, he's got the champagne glass and what? everything. What? <laughs> Damn. What? But yeah, look at the, that's the crazy thing. So Bubs wins the tournament. Um, uh, of course, Summitoe playing. Zoe doing a ton of work. Roy Lil Wayne taking out two, three people here. Last week was Mochi the MVP. This week he really didn't do anything. Dude, I would have never thought that Bubs would be the one to, to put the yeah. cherry on top for this thing, man. You saw, too, like, he played completely different. He knew. He's like, all right, this is a uh, Lancelot player. All I have to do is beam him the first to one. I'm going to rush him down, grab him a bunch, throw off his timing. Yeah, the first round, he, he grabbed him, like, five times. Omito showing up, right? We didn't get to see. Uh, we we got to see everyone play, too, this week. Last week, uh, it was only mainly, what, Consume, Teresa, uh, and Mochi. This week, everyone played. Everybody did Yeah, work. this format was a lot longer, yeah. but you got to see a lot more, like, way more matches. A lot more diversity, too, man. And Guilty Gear is looking good. Like, they, whoever is coming up next week, Guilty Gear, I think, that, that motivated him last week. They're like, you know what, let's all grind. Let, let's keep this going. That's the thing. You see, So you said last year it made you kind of upset because you watched players like, you watched Consume, you watched yeah, was, Summit, you watched. Like, These uh, guys still playing the game now? What's going on? You were and you and dude, off stream, you were you were you were you were kind of you, oh man, they look so wack. <laughs> I, I think I can be a body, they, body, they, body. Uh, they grinded this they week. Grinded. You could tell. You could, you could just tell. see in the ranks yeah. too. You could just see in the ranks. They all leveled up their ranks, like Omito hit master. Uh what is it? Summit went from five to two. What Roy went from five to one. They spent a week, and that's really hard to do. And I love that Kako came through and proved exactly yeah. what we were saying, right? In the in team tournament format, especially one like this, characters that are normally perceived as quote unquote weak or not singles tournament viable, they can become very important trump cards in in terms of matchups like this. Yeah. You saw at the end, you know, they wore they wore score down. And then you throw in an X Factor character like Bubs at the end to close it out, dude. That's 
Johnny had tweeted wow. out the uh, <laughs> the Teresa initial D picture. Guilty <laughs> 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 Gear wins again, huh? It's uh, yeah, I guess I'm getting used to it, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I said before too. I was like, man, I'm excited to see Summit to play. I want to see because like last week again, I was like, oh man, I don't know, but he he got some stuff. He got some. He looked really really good now. <laughs> oh, this was this was sick. So who would step up now? I don't BB Tag out, KOF out. I mean, it doesn't be a strict, but like Sam Show's got uh, Koichi. They have, of course, uh, Tahichi as well. They've got Mera. Gamera is a monster. Nah, if they put Sam Show up, I think Sam Show will win. Yeah. yeah. If I put Sam Show up, Sam Show is gonna win. Sam Show, Sam Show at the battle. Do with three Sam Show at the battle. Of the communities had two teams enter as well, right? And they did. They did really well, actually. I think that would be the one. It's probably gonna be Melty Blood or Sam Show at this point. They can't get her. They can't get a three P. It's got to be Melty Blood or Sam Show. I think they can't get a three P. But yeah, the cool thing is like you really could make a team out of anybody. And there's so much crossover yeah. between these players anyway, too, right? Like you think about a team Melty Blood. Who would Zeph play for? You know? Yeah. Who would Who would he play for? You know? <laughs> did everyone on guilty? I think everybody got a game, right? Nobody. Yes. There was no no one in that. Yeah. I think even Taco got a game. Yeah. Chad is saying Denga Kibunko fighting Climax. That's this team. There's like five national Go level show. players. Go up show. Here, like world Go champs. show is a former Denga Kibunko yeah. fighting Climax <laughs> champion, national champion. That is it, the, it's that is Dengeki. It's, it's Butter, Pamu, Ugusu, Oz, and Gosho. Those five yeah. are our like training partners for Dengeki. You but know what? You want to get to that's, the, that's what it is. We need melee ver melee versus GG. Y'all look. Y'all put up the money. Y'all put up the money. Let's get melee versus GG. Flat. I I like GG. Fly left and out. <laughs> Bro, look, get left and out here on first class. Have him play on the airport Wi-Fi. I'll s dude, we'll, we'll make it happen. <laughs> oh, man, this, this is the poor KOF players. Man, They're you know what? You know what the words. problem is? They're too busy playing the WWE versus K versus KOF oh, yeah, All Stars getting, promo. They're, they're trying to get all the. See, you should have been right in training mode. You should have been net playing. You're too busy playing around with the Rock. Do you think The Rock cares that Orochi got some tattoos? <laughs> I like John Cena. The John Cena one's great. Don't worry, I'm John Cena. It's like, what the... Who, I wonder who wrote the script for that, because it's, it's so good. It's so natural, yeah, actually. It's, yeah, it's so like good. Very <laughs> it's so good, but it's like good for them in like an, like a cartoon game. The it's Rock not, doesn't yeah. give a damn about... <laughs> the Rock doesn't give a damn about Orochi. <laughs> so they're talking about something else. I don't know. They said they're they're going to announce things. They're like, we have another opportunity. They're like, well, maybe not if. They're like, after this, we have something to say. So I guess there's another announcement. I hope. These are fun. A lot of good uh, viewership, too. So I hope they'll keep going. But yeah, we're watching the KOF stream. I think Royce, I think the Guilty Gear. Yeah, is the main stream. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if they're gonna. But yo, doing it. props to about too holding it down on the stream, man. His streams look uh, oh, yeah. it's, it's real crisp. Re for the most part, was was really good. <laughs> yeah, so they're like, man, this was a tough lose, tough, tough one to lose. <laughs> uh, so he said, whoever was talking said he didn't. He that that's the good OS. He didn't even buy. He didn't buy Narmai, So. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna have to spend money on these characters here. Got to figure them out. Yeah, we talked about this last time too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's rough. Like that is definitely. That's how I felt with the BB tag team too. Is like when you lose like this, all this does is probably make you salty and motivate you. You know, because like on paper, it's like, you guys should have won. They probably feel that way still. Like, damn, I can't believe we lost. I like, mean, honestly, even when it was like 10-7, I was yeah. like, dude, KOF, I think yeah. still, I still feel like KOF had the advantage. Because we were definitely not, we were underestimating Samito and Roy. It's not that Kaki. I was underestimating. I just, I that's, when I thought about score, when I mm -hmm. thought about the, the two Lance players, and I thought about like how many master level players they had on here, I thought that that was more powerful than what, 
the K the extra team was bringing. I mean, score did work. He he got six, I think, total. Yeah. He did three and then lost and then three and then lost. So like, he did a lot of work. It's just not enough. The other members on his team really didn't. Oz actually, you know, we were talking about two lances. Oz really didn't do a lot. But yo, MVP of this set, no problem. Summit. Yeah, he put the nail in the coffin. Yeah, yeah. Even though. He, Score got more points. Summit was the one that was just like, all right, we're ending this now. I mean, yeah, he took Eliminate, he, eliminate, he, put the pressure on. He was the one, yeah, like yeah. you said, nailing the coffin. Took control of it. Like, okay, this is this was fun. Mm -hmm. But, by the way, I've been uh, training morning Zoe. So, thank you. They're all saying bye here. The, the sad, the sad farewell. Yeah, what I hope too, man, I hope it's not just, I hope this doesn't just turn into a, a an excerpt defying expectations uh, series of exhibitions. It's fun. I want to see KOF versus BB Tag. I want to see, cycle. yeah, just run cycles, yeah. I want to see some uh, some other ex exhibitions like that. I, this is the kind of netplay stuff that I, I can be about. I feel like if KOF and I feel like KOF and BB Tech don't really want to fight each other, they want to fight Guilty Gear. It's like come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. And Guilty Gear's like, nah, now nah, one, one, yeah. one and done, one and done that yeah. forever. Hold, one and done that forever. Hold that. Maybe next year we can try it again. We got to hold that for a while. But damn, I forgot what this was like, man. Like. I used to play with soccer and like tennis, like team switch back in the day. I remember this now. When you lose, you know, you lose with the team, and then like that post game, everyone is like, "Damn, you lose by yourself in the tournament." You're just like, "Oh man, it's bullshit. You're out by yourself. You don't care." But everyone here is all sad. I wonder if we can start fighting. I wonder if we're gonna see some sub tweets on on Twitter. Oh, absolutely. From, from score, we'll be like, "Wow, uh, I guess uh, I'm gonna need a new player." Like, I don't know why we got that no buy on our team. I'm saying. Do any work. I'm saying scores about to be running first to fifties against uh, Zoe's yeah, for the yeah. next for the next five days straight. Who? Who you gonna be asking me? I'm I'm a triple S. But yeah, I, I'm happy. I'm happy to. So this is like you know the beauty of this stuff. Everyone's worried uh, this game doesn't have offline scene because of you know Corona and everything. So it's just online. It's only online. Like people don't care if it's just online. All right, check this out, G Unit. This just in. Oh, finish what you were saying. I'm sorry. But you. Just from last week to this week, because of this event, mm -hmm. you know, only because of this event, mm -hmm. we saw the Guilty Gear players motivated to grind. Mm -hmm. They all improved in a week, and they're going to keep going after this. Now, okay, so next week, uh, I'm cleared to make this announcement. Uh -oh. Okay, so next week, World first. the official uh, exhibition is going to be same time, same place, guys. Make hold sure. on, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Chat, who do you think it's going to be? Obama said, what team do you say you want to be for? I, okay, so I, what I think it's going to be is, what I thought was... It's gonna be anime Illuminati versus Guilty Gear. We're gonna get you and Bobby. Oh, let's go. Just give y'all, just give y'all five lives each. Go, Bob. Just run go, the gauntlet. Go, Bob. That's what, that's what I was thinking. Chat, who you want to see? But I was thinking, I think the only ones that can take down GG are gonna be. It's gotta be Melty or Sam Show, I right? Sam, I don't know why I thought Sam Show, but I thought Sam Show. Melty or Sam Show, I think. Who's the chat saying? Who they want to see? I was gonna say Arcana. I mean, you could even make an Arcana. Melty, you could, you could do Sam anybody. Show, or Smash Ultimate with the items on. There's gotta be one of those three teams. Get the items on. It's Melty, gotta be items on, not Melty, items on. Melty, not items on. Skullgirls, Arcana, Heart, Koihime. Yeah, you could do Koihime, yeah. Everyone say Melty. I think Melty, though, I don't know. Melty won the, the first community tournament. They were the final ball. Sam Show, Yadagasu, Koihime. Well, I don't see anybody. Obama, no one's guessing it right. All right. Well, let me, let me, uh, go break, ahead. breaking news. Here we go. go. Ahead. So, again, guys, first to 10, uh, 10v10 ex <laughs> community exhibition, right? Next week, same time, same place, same channel. Make sure you guys hit follow. Dragon Ball Fighters, Ooh. Bomba Bon, Goichi, Kazunoko, Fenrich, B, Cho, Bro. Musui, <laughs> nah, 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 Kana, nah, nah, nah. Eda, and Masayama. Nah. That's a nasty team. That's a nasty team. <laughs> Going up against Team SNK. Okay. Abao, Koji KOG, Jesus. Score, Gamera, M Dash, Tahichi, uh. Lagia, Butter, Tarezo, and Ozu. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for hanging out. That's Thanks for hanging ridiculous. out. Thanks for having fun with us and uh, watching to be a part of it, guys. God damn. <laughs> that's, yeah. That, Get that, hyped for that, it. That, that's... Yo, do us a solid, man. Get on Twitter and start talking about it, man. This is going to be tight. This is going to be tight. I, who do you think? Dude, just looking at it real quick. Uh, DBSC. DBSC. Yeah, no, no, but that's what I was saying, too, because I thought it was against Guilty Gear. But SNK team? SNK team is raw? Nah, I think nah, DBSC I, win. I'm, I'm, going with, I'm going with SNK. I Screw that. You, know, you want to put money on? You I'll do bet? it. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll definitely do it. B, like, come on. B, B ain't doing work. Cho ain't doing work. Masui, Zeta. All right, all the Zeta fans are going to have a Zeta we, right we'll there. Put, I will put a pizza on it. How about that? Zeta's going to be there. I put a, I, I got to pay for dinner one time. All right. All right. M dash. I'm, I've been on DBFZ. I've been on DBFZ. Well, you're 0 for 3. <laughs> or 0 for 2. What so are you talking about? If you're, what do you mean? I'm if you're betting on that, then all right. I, I'm definitely going <laughs> to put my money on SNK then. All right, that's a pizza bet then. And look, guys, uh, Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for coming through. Yeah, Thanks fun. to Panda Global for seeing, again, value in these community events like these to be able to 
You know, they, they're the ones that are putting these on for you guys. They're the ones that are reaching out to us and reaching out to the JP players to be able to try to get these guys streamed and also presented to you guys overseas, right? Yep. Make sure you guys thank them. Make sure you let them know you appreciate them for that effort. Yeah, and, and if uh, you guys, it's Matt early there too, so if you guys missed the start, I'm pretty sure it's at least going to be up on their YouTube. There might be a rebroadcast here. But like Obama said, follow the channel, follow the Twitter, follow the social, and make sure you check it out in full. And with that, we'll see you guys next time. Everybody be good. Peace.